गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन हाउ आर यू डूइंग गैस हेलो हेलो ओ माई अर्ली अर्ली स्ट्रीम सो वेलकम वेलकम एवरी वन सो वी आर लाइव वी द ग्रैंड फाइनल ऑफ जापान चैम्पियनशिप इट्स डे इट्स फाइनली द डे एंड लुक एट द कैस्टर सो वी हैव ऑन द लेफ्ट साइड ओ द इन द मिडल इज तादरा एंड ऑन आवर राइट साइड इज यूथा सो आई एम श्योर इफ दे गोना इज तादरा गोना कैस्ट एवरी थिंग मे बी दे बिकॉज द इन द प्रीवियस क्वालिफायर एक्चुअली दे चेंज अ फ्यू कैस्टर्स बिटवीन सो We'll see what they have ready for us uh, today, but yeah, uh, we will be kicking off with the first uh, semi-final match, which will be between uh, Sahara and uh, Kari. So yeah, hello, good morning. Actually, let me put uh, some music on uh, for the background while we are waiting. So what are you gonna add today? Uh, will be a little bit different. Uh, the people which were watching qualifier is actually not gonna be uh, that new for you, but they also gonna show uh, planning or uh, the basis. Okay, so we will be streaming two semifinals and of course that huge uh, grand uh, final. So first is a Sahara versus Kari, and after that is a Morio versus Klaus, and of course that big big uh, grand final. The prize pool is two million Japanese yen, which is around seven. Seventeen thousand five hundred uh, dollars. So yeah, yeah. Let's go, let's go. So I'm gonna uh, start a prediction on the, for the first semi-final. So let's start with that. So it will be uh, Sahara versus uh, Kari. We know both of them from a Unicorn of Love. So uh, it will be big, big match for them. Because they definitely know each other uh, very well, you know. They know uh, which is a uh, favorite strategy. Maybe they will try to defend. We will see what's gonna happen. But I'm very excited for this one. So uh, Sahara and Kari. All right, let's put it on. Uh, I think so. That will be like uh, 15 minutes. Uh, you know, they're gonna do some interviews and all this stuff before we're gonna start uh, planning the attacks and showing the hits and everything. So let me tell you, hi. Two new Iceberg Christian, JD's Disco Tanji, Morrison, uh, Harshal, Mighty, uh, Marcus, Time Labs, Volker. Welcome, guys, over on Twitch. We have three uh, Starship, Aso, Hartim, Hitesh, Christian, two new Time Labs, Brunel, Samhu, Avi, Abhishek, Pratik. Oh my, X. <laughs> you need to change the name. A uh, low key and a uh, name. So, a uh, good morning uh, to you as well. So, as you can see, there was a uh, plenty, plenty of qualifiers, and we will say like around like 1,300 players were fighting in each qualifier, and we went down to 16 players, which we were streaming a few days ago, and right now. We are uh, left only with the four of them. So, uh, have I said the first semi-final uh, is uh, between Sahara and Kari? So I start the prediction, so we can start also a uh, vote. I am really curious to know what you guys think about this one. Uh, good morning, Regal. Good morning. Hi, Pritam. Hello. How this working? So this is one versus one. All right. So it's players versus player. Uh, only a uh, players from uh, Japan could uh, be in this tournament and uh, it's kind of they're gonna do one versus one in the best of three but best of three is working a different way here so uh, after two attacks all right each player gonna use two hits and after two hits the player with the most of the stars you know uh, advancing to the next round if the situation happened they will be even on stars and also even on person we will go to base of three when that hit will decide if happens again they will both hit a triple the time will be factor from with that hit so yeah we saw so many this kind of situation happening the previous stream where we were streaming the top 16 have i said the top 16 top top players from japan so we saw so many triples and we had to go to best of three where the time was the factor <laughs> Kari will win uh his elite attack pillow oh yeah i cannot wait for that hi gonut hello uh tj welcome welcome yeah, 2 million yen, exactly. As you can see on our screen, 
uh, the uh, prize pool is 2 million Japanese yen. So the first place is 1 million, second one is 500, and third place, which I like it, is know that we're gonna have fight for the third place. So the players which are both of them finishing on third place, they're gonna split for 250,000 each. So uh, in the total, the prize pool is 2 million uh, Japanese yen, which is 17,500 dollars, around like that. Ali, hello. Uh, Alex, I'm good. How are you? Uh, thank you, Pritam. I'm good. Just waking up. Hello, hello, Arjun. Arjun, hello as well. So, yeah, as you can see, this is the last four players. Kari, Sahara, Murio, and Klaus. So, yeah, uh, Stars, Yuta, Gaku, all, all well trying uh, in the qualifiers. We saw them in the qualifiers around. Uh, I was I have say poor stars so stars uh, made it to the two qualifiers right the first one he was facing Klaus and the second one he was facing Yopani Yopani is amazing so uh, stars lost there on the uh, on the time I think so uh, Stadra was in the with the Utah and Gaku of uh, they were in the top 16 Gaku was so close like he had to uh Gaku match went to best of three and he needed to be fast so he switched to the dragons and he would he would win but he didn't get the town hall oh yeah he was unlucky because expo will log on the queen so she was forced to use the ability and, and after that that ability was missing on the town hall so he got the one star he would be definitely faster so that was an epic match uh i really enjoyed that um so yeah, Yuta Stadra both unlucky against not a close uh, matches, but yeah, uh, they didn't make it. So we are now down to this uh, amazing four players, Kari, Sahara, Morio and Klaus. It's nice to have something to watch in the morning. Oh, this is early morning. I can tell you, I'm not morning person. <laughs> I'm definitely not. Oh. Uh, yeah, uh, so the uh, who is a uh, caster, so we have Oda, Stadra, and Yuta casting. Yeah, you are waiting for Kari action. Me too. If you are following Kari on uh, Twitter, you will see uh, so many memes, you know, <laughs> but like, like a nice way, you know, with his position. He's like very funny person, you know. Oh, I wish all four of them, Ali, uh, best of luck, uh, you know, it's amazing, uh, they made it so far, you know, like, there was so many amazing players, so, yeah. Uh, Loki, uh, Klaus is playing the second semi-final, so you have probably like 30-40 minutes uh, until Klaus will be attacking. Hi, Mano, hello. Because the first semi-finals is between Sahara and Kari. Uh, we will have a little bit time. Uh, what they are, they will be showing also plan of the bases, you know. So they will, we will see how uh, these attackers are planning, you know. And after we will see, of course, the live attacks. There's 10 a.m. in the Poland. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, I think so I uh, woke up like 6 a.m. or 5 a.m. Adit, yeah, hello, hello. Mike, welcome. Translate, yeah, I wish I could. I, I wish there is like... Mm, no. I cannot, sorry. Uh, Caster name, so uh, on the left side, uh, Oda, Stadra, and Yuta. Stadra posted, uh, oh, I think it was him on Twitter, you know, picture of uh, like, you know, getting a uh, hairstyle and everything ready <laughs> 4 a.m. yeah I'm so confused because we later today we, uh, I think so there are two Queen Walkers Wars which I would like to cover but mm, <laughs> I don't know it's like wow uh, with the time I don't even know what time they are starting the time changing totally confusing me you know Hi Roma, I just started, I just started like a few minutes ago, so yeah. Uh, Alex, welcome, welcome. Yeah, looks like marathon again, we will have another wars later today, but I don't know. 
I cannot figure out one war at a time. So, we definitely streaming one Queen Walker's war. They have two. But I also am looking on Hagra Metal versus, I think so, with Indian Clashers. That's also make me. Maybe we'll stream. We'll see how how we will be excited, how much energy I will have, because this one will be probably like around three hour stream, you know, so yeah. Oh Val, welcome, good morning, good morning Val, how are you doing? What's the time and your place? It's only 9 a.m. Of course, look as I do. I'm go... Oh, okay, X, best, best of luck. Hello, Raja. Hey, Raj. <laughs> BM. Good morning. So, uh, what is your prediction for this one, guys? Kari versus Sahara. Both players are very well known from, uh, especially from a unicorn of love. So, uh, what is your prediction for this one? Uh, which do you think will advance to the grand final? So how I said they will have short interview with the players and after we will be start planning the hits and of course uh, showing the live attacks. Yeah, this one is grand final, exactly. So we were streaming a Japan championship uh, for a few months and now this is the final day. Today you triple with the badge? Are you serious, Lokesh? That's amazing. I can even... Yesterday... Uh, I was showing the heat on stream. It had went very bad. <laughs> really bad, you know. I didn't restart, but I got loot. That is important, right? Morrison say that it's 10 a.m. 10 a.m. in the future. All right, Morrison, when you are leaving the future, who will win? Sahara or Kari? Tell us that. True. 5.13 p.m. in the Philippines. That's not bad. That's not bad. <laughs> Uh, carry advance uh, on down technique can fail. That's uh, saying Sal. <laughs> he is really funny guy. Good morning, Benji. Daddy, hello. Hope you're having a lovely day so far. Oh my god, I cannot see the notification. Can I? Oh. Uh... Oh, Kesa, thank you very much. Oh my god, thank you very much for donation over on Twitch. Thank you, thank you. I really appreciate that. Thank you very much for donation. Oh my, sorry. Uh, my, um, on this screen, my notification are a little bit uh, behind, so I really appreciate you. Thank you very much again for the donation. <laughs> Everyone is waiting for the carry reaction. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's seriously that is I think some kind of emotes. I want to send him message. I want to add it on uh, YouTube that we or maybe even on Twitch if you guys want it. Like there is like you know laying down guy and like that you know when he's when he three star and he's happy. So I wanted to ask if I can use that. Morrison saying it will be win for Sahara. Anyone else? Come on guys, give me your prediction. Sahara or Kari? Yeah, this is final, exactly. Uh, so this is our first semi-final, after we will have second semi-final, and of course that big, big grand final. Isn't it cool to see, like, also, like, Vivoker's casting? Like, if you don't recognize uh, the person in the middle, that's Tadra. Uh, Klaus is matching Mori. So Klaus versus uh, Mori. That will be the second semi final. Are you streaming Queen Walker's match? Yeah, they have, I think so, two. I definitely streaming one. I don't know about second one. I'm st still trying to figure out what time zone is that. Still don't know what time that our match is starting for me. Yeah, the person in the middle is Tadra. So, as you can see, we are now in the planning stage, okay? 
So, uh, we'll, Caddy will be attacking us first. And he kind of uh, gonna just show us what kind of strategy he will be using. As you can see, we're already posting a uh, blimp. And after that, it will, uh, of course, be, uh, be a live attack. Alusada will be doing blizzard. Just seeing the super wizard in the blimp. Yeah. Yeah, interview is in the Japan language, exactly. Hi, Foxera, hello. You think that Klaus will win for sure? Klaus... <laughs> Klaus uh, round was so close, okay? Klaus has all three bases, like... Uh, I'm still trying to make uh, the video about it, but he has epic bases. Like, he stopped Yopani with the traps, you know? Like, because uh, Klaus didn't restart with the first attack and everyone thought, that, oh, it's over. But after Kl uh, when uh, Klaus was under, you know, like, his bases held so well, you know? Middle one is correct. No, Jimmy. Uh, middle one is Tadra. So it's Oda, Stadra, and Yuta. No, it's not like one versus one creativity. No, they're going uh, really like serious, you know, they want to win. There is a lot of money in this tournament. All right, Kari is fixing his <laughs> Let's go position, guys. <laughs> well, let me actually put uh, the volume on. So the He's ready. <laughs> He's so funny guy! I love it. <laughs> so he will do Lalo, Blizzard Lalo. Looks like that is the plan. I am seriously curious how many players are attacking like that, you know? Is he just scary or not? Uh, by the way, can you hear the uh, music, like the playlist? I think I can put it like a little bit louder because today we are... Oh, I'm closing the prediction by the way. So, 55 pets and voting for Sahara. 45 pets and going uh, with the carry. Same thing is doing uh, for... Uh, three, so best of luck to everyone who was voting and let's go Kari coming in here as you can see a uh, blizzard Lalo so we know when we, he wants to blizzard uh, He wants oh my god that blimp did the land Okay Did he pop the blimp I miss it or did something happen there because we definitely wanted that blimp I think so for the town hall and that single inferno we got a scatter shot maybe he changed the plan uh, for a second and yeah hi Celtic this one is a, a first semi-final of Japan championship it is one versus one tournament where uh, the top top Japan players are playing in the best of three that was black uh, bomb. Okay, so he will now has to change the plan. Okay, so he will try to uh, uh, get the town hall with the queen. She has the ability, and actually I like that baby dragon. I think so. Uh, the baby dragon really set up very nice funnel. And queen popping the ability, she will get the town hall before she will be logged on the lava. So uh, nice uh, save there. And now he's sending the real champion with the king from the nine o'clock corner where we have the multi inferno looks like that we are finding some uh, set of the ground skellies and already one uh, tesla using invisibility spell on them all right uh the problem is that multi is still up but now finally rc got it she using the shield she going for the visit tower another invisibility spell on her uh i don't think so she will get anything else Oh, she got away from that single inferno. That is actually so smart, real champion, and she grabbed that multi. That definitely gonna help his Lalo. Starting that Lalo from our uh, top, using the wooden ability, especially because we are getting close to that scatter shot at the twelve o'clock. That single inferno doesn't bother us. But can you see that royal champion? Like he is uh, spending the spells on RC. Is he gonna freeze that single inferno again or letting RC die? I think so. He's gonna let it uh, RC die. The launch 
should get that single inferno we still have big group of the loons and the three o'clock corner based on the rest of the teslas carry gonna hit his first triple nice job from him especially after that blimp you know like no problems at all and that is a happy reaction from uh carry so uh definitely a uh, epic hit I still do check my uh, YouTube and check up uh, uh, any video I uh, or any last few videos I add a playlist for in each video in the description so check it there are two playlists so you can choose uh, which one do you like hi said yes it is it is oh I'm so oh, happy I'm really uh, grateful that we could cover the Japan championship uh, is different uh, format and I having a lot of fun yeah best of three but uh, the way how they gonna do best of three so uh, both players gonna use two attacks okay and after two hits uh, Okay, let me mute that. Uh, after two hits, the player with the most uh, of stars is gonna get a win. If the situation will happen that uh, players are even on stars and a uh, person will go to best of three. No, uh, casters are uh, Oda, Stadra, and Yuta. So Stadra is the guy in the middle. Kari Lalo is clean. Yeah, it was a good hit. It was a really good hit. Yeah, exactly. And you know, it doesn't feel like if we didn't know, if we didn't see that black ermine and we didn't know the plan, you would think that he wants to blame just that bottom side because that queen had no problem for the town hall. You know, it actually worked very well for him. And that royal champion was MVP. All right, looks like uh, Sahara is uh, planning to go with the Queen Charge uh, Dragon Riders. Looks like it's gonna be very long Queen Charge because we also are uh, bringing the jump. You see, uh, he's planning to push the Queen, go inside in the core where there are the three Infernos. And he will try to take care of the uh, Town Hall with the King. I'm just worried there's a bunch of uh, storages. We'll see how many traps around the Town Hall will be. On what we shall? Shouldn't have. Definitely not. Uh, Salman, I, I think so. They're casting in the uh, Japan. Uh, yeah, I, I believe so. Yes. Yeah, I think uh, this plan is better than he told us. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Laser Girl. Hello. This play tool is cool. Yeah. Uh, I don't know for how long are you playing uh, guys uh, Clash, but in OG like few years ago when just kind of like league scene starting, you know, um, the pro scene, uh, that's how we were planning. I remember, that's how we were planning, you know, just, uh, I, but I think so I was using, uh, it was called Skitch or something, and that's how I was showing, you know, what I'm planning to do. So some people prefer to just uh, plan this way or uh, jump on the voice chat and talk uh, to other people. But I think so also planning like this, if you uh, guys like, you know, you are in the clan where it's like also talking different language and you don't understand, uh, you know, this is also a way how you can communicate with your teammates. Susie plans were OP, Mike, OP. In YouTube, uh, we shall it should, uh, you should get it on at the start and that's it. Alright, so Sahara is in on Kari, so we already saw Kari with that uh, OP uh, Lalo hit and Sahara coming in here, let me put the uh, sounds on, uh, with the Queen Charge Dragon Rider, so using that early Royal Champion ability, uh, so the RC snipe the air defense but also like with that early ability kind of cut the funnel here so that's mean we know that he will try to take care of the town hall uh with the king queen is now dealing with the cc headhunters and lava went uh, towards the uh, her we have to range there don't lose the queen oh she was forced to use the ability that could be problem in the middle compartment because we know that we are looking for the very long queen charge uh, and yeah that's uh queen ability probably gonna be missing there 
Now that I love that baby dragon, I'm so surprised there are no any air traps. That baby dragon is so safe for now and clearing all these uh, storages around the town hall so that king will have very easy way to get the town hall. Now uh, we dropped it first uh, jump spell as you can see give queen access for that multi infernos. She clearly already cleared that compartment and deal uh, with the enemy queen. Uh, his king is already on the town hall. Queen is grabbing the air defense. Nice. Now she has to fight the king. That's could be problem because we didn't rage her. We are sending the headhunter. Are we gonna be okay? Looks like we do. Yeah, headhunter perfect. Uh, enemy king is uh, gone. We are using the invisibility spell on queen. She's grabbing that multi inferno town hall went down and his slammer with the dragon's riders are in. We hit the tornado trap and the black mine front of the eagle, but the loons with the dragon rider definitely gonna get the eagle and the rest of the dragons clearing the nicely that three o'clock corner now we still have these two infernos up queen kind of holding can she grab the inferno before she died no sadly no and that's why we needed that ability because imagine if she has the ability she would grab that inferno and would be much much easier now question is i think i see like around four uh, dragons riders left are we gonna hit a triple here 45 seconds still air defense good things with the dragon riders they are targeting the defenses ignoring all these trash buildings around now they're going for the cannon which oh two dragons left some minions so time is looking okay two minions are we gonna hit any trap no looks like we are good looks like we are good it will be three star for sahara nice job Nice job, GG. <gasps> oh, Spectre! Oh, are you serious? Is that right, handsome man? <laughs> Hi, Prince, hello. Maybe Spectre, you can watch it like all later, you know, when you're gonna have data. Good morning, Tommy. Yeah, it is early stream, I know. Hamza, hello. So, after first hits both with the triples, time doesn't bother us now. Because if we go to situation with the time, it will be only about the third attack, you know? So, now they can go like some uh, queen charges and everything. But if both of them hit the triple again, they will maybe have to change the strategy and go with the e-dragons or some kind of uh, mix with the dragons. Because we know these strategies are fa much faster than some queen charge or, you know order uh klaus will be playing after this the, he is in the second semi-finals ashahim welcome nice attack but last minute improvement i know i think so he would like overkill that base if the queen had the ability you know because she would help him so much Let's go, Kari. Now, I think so. Now, Sahara will be attacking us first. You love the blue hair? Thank you. You were about to go sleep? I the notification pop up. Yeah, today will be a long day. We are uh, covering this, but we also will be covering uh, some other wars later. So, yep. and then hello yeah the middle is stadra yes yeah the finals are uh, playing as well today everything is today so two semi-final and the grand final everything is today so we will see like kind of like three matches you know two semi-finals and one grand final So how I say? 
sorry. Have I say Sahara is uh, now coming as first. Uh, Lusavi will be starting also uh, with the blizzard. Let's see where he's planning to the blizzard. <laughs> final best of five. No, final will be best of three. Uh, as of hello. Yeah, if you don't want to wait for the semi-final and grand final, it's fine. I will be editing that on a, uh, on my YouTube, so I make it uh, shorter. You can uh, check it later. Uh, Ivan, welcome. Good morning. Well, looks like that he will still keep uh, using uh, dragon uh, riders, as you can see. But he will do like big push uh, with the kill squad. And I think so Dragon Riders kind of will be for the cleanup, you know. If he's gonna get all heroes inside where is the town hall. Because this base, like if you get inside in the core, you can get insane um value here. Because he has like two scatter shots there and town hall, you know. gonna be long day yeah but it's fine there will be some breaks between stream I think so you guys will probably get like million notification from me today <laughs> get ready you know all right 50 second for that second round and how I say this, this is a uh, very important you know, any mistake uh, can cost them this much. Because both players are even on stars right now. Do you like his plan? I forgot to ask you. Do you like what he's planning to do? I kind of do. Like, I like the funnel. I like the blizzard. Like, his uh, kill squad should really get inside in the core i'm just curious if they're gonna be able to clear like if they clear the core like dragon riders will be just really used for the cleanup hi c3 hello ali hello good morning she like <clears throat> risky i would what would you say Where is the king? I think so king will go with the uh, kill squad. E Achirak, what time is it? I cannot figure out. Can you tell me like what time is it in the like uh, EDT or uh, Central European time? I know they are playing in the Fire of Fiera. I'm streaming that for you. For, for you, for sure. <laughs> Hold on. Alright, Sahara is in. Coming in here with that uh, Blizzard Dragon Rider. So we already saw the plan. Let's see how it this uh, will work. So he's Blizzard in that bottom compartment. And uh, Blizzard looking good. Uh, we cleared definitely buildings which we wanted. And now we just need to uh, deal with the CC. As you can see, we still have lava. So we can going to deploy that queen at a 6 o'clock. And on the plan, was, uh, it was explaining that he will send a royal champion from the three o'clock. But we have to be careful because there is enemy queen and we want uh, to cut the funnel for his kill squad. Because the plan with the kill squad is to clear the core. And we are still far, far away from that. So as you can see, king going with the queen. We have the golem tanking for the heroes. 
I think Sophie will be just patient and waiting for the enemy queen to log on his hero so the RC can go in. And here we go, she does. So only what he needs with the real champion, just clear these defenses at the right side. So that's mean his heroes will be keep going towards the town hall. That's the other plan. We're using the king ability, we're sniping the multi inferno, and actually real champion is joining. Uh, his all three heroes are in. Uh, Sorry, two heroes are in. Queen is still fighting the enemy queen. Decide to use the invisibility spell on the king. I actually really like the, uh, what king is doing. Royal champion clearing. Like, this is looking pretty OP. Now, he's starting his dragon riders. Queen sitting in the poison, not the best. So that's mean the queen will die in the poison. We weren't able to grab that scatter shot next to the town hall. But we got one. So one is left, he's freezing it, and he still have three more free spells. So actually he can keep freezing uh, defenses, especially that air defense with the scatter, which he is doing. 47 seconds left, cleanup looking good. We have some minions and the baby dragons already clear, uh, clearing the elixir collector freezing. That one is his last free spell over that multi 35 seconds. He got it. Beautiful plan. I really like that. That was very nice plan from Sahara. So nice job. Sahara hitting his second triple. And now Kari has a lot of pressure on him. He knows that Kari has to hit the triple. Anything less than triple will be win for Sahara. Uh, 9.30 p.m. Indian time. Is that uh, which one? That first one? I know when is uh, I know when is uh, the Farah Fiera, but when is the front line? 7.30 p.m. Indian time? So that is like 10 a.m. EDT, 3 p.m. Central European time, I think. Hi, Specky, hello. Ah, uh, Sentiza, welcome. Hey. Hold on, let me... There's some uh, noise big. Uh, two hours before the uh, Farafira match. Oh, okay, cool. I should be covering. I think so we will be done uh, with this before. So, yeah. Okay, yeah. Thank you. Uh, I don't know. I really have problem to <laughs> get a time zone correct, you know? Yeah, so sweetie, we will have two Queen Walkers matches uh, later today. Yeah, so one will be 7.30 p.m. Indian time, another one will be 9.30 p.m. Indian time, so we will be covering two of the uh, Walker's matches. Hi, Sunny, hello. Yeah, I still want that uh, baby dragon. The baby dragon is looking so cute. Uh, Chirag is there saying that around 3 hours, but I think so this will be no 3 hours. They're actually pretty fast. You know, this is first semi-final. We will see we will go to best of 3, so it's two semi-finals and grand final. Alright, Karik <laughs> coming back to his position, fixing the camera. Let's go, Kari. So, have I said, a lot of pressure on him. He needs to hit a triple. Anything less than triple will be... Uh, win for Sahara. They do. That it is. And, and I love it. Uh, they always clapping. Did you, do you remember when uh, was the match? ATN versus Kmiwokers in the grand uh, final of the worlds. When the ATN won, Kmiwokers were clapping. You know? And I love it. That is amazing gesture from uh, them. No, he's not. No, Winterfell. He's always laughing. His most relaxed position, exactly. I know, Regal. I, I am lucky about this. Never miss your stream. Oh, thank you, Tahir. Uh, it will be. Klaus match will be after this one. This is first semi-final. You like this uh, uh, plan? What he's doing? Blimbing the town hall, heroes for the funnel, and the dragon in the middle. What are you gonna send on that uh, scatter?
Okay, now I am totally lost. <laughs> because he has all three heroes on that other side. Maybe Royal Champion will be go for that scatter shot at the two o'clock. That would make sense because he doesn't need really Royal Champion bottom. We'll see. No, I am always uh, laughing. Yeah, I try to be happy, you know. Like, what is the point? Um, I will say after. All right, so Kari is in uh, with his second attack. Have I said anything less than three star uh, will be mean that Sahara will advance to the grand final. So this is very important. Here, let me put the sounds back. So uh, here we go. So what uh, the plan with the blimp is to get a town hall. As you can see, we already used the warden ability to protect the blimp. In the plan was that heroes will be used to funneling the left side and the dragon's gonna stay in the middle. Kind of don't like the dragons. Uh, there's big a group of them uh, pushing towards the eagle. I thought that we will have more dragons in the middle compartment. I like that heal spell front of the multi inferno. Looks like the king made it at the six o'clock corner. So that's mean he can grab some defenses there. Royal champion coming from there as well. Temple went down, but we still have the single inferno on the top side. He has still over two minutes and plenty of spells. But at three o'clock corner is uh, really uh, looking dangerous because we have Tesla farm, we have the scatter shot, and front of it, we still have to deal with the air defense and the multi. He's deploying two skeleton spells to distract everything around. As you can see, he has only two Inferno Dragons and one Dragon left. RC is fighting also some ground skellies. RC and Queen with the ability. Are we gonna have enough here? I kind of feel this will be very close. RC with the shield. Boom, boom, boom. She's sniping the Tesla. Can she get a scatter shot? She did. But the bold x bow are locked on the Queen. And she needs to break the wall to be able to reach them. So she's uh, popping the ability. She's grabbing the first x bow Gonna switch to the second one one dragon left if the dragon gonna hit any air traps we are definitely in the huge trouble oh my how many defenses we have still archer tower wizard tower and the bomb tower i think we could get it i think we could get it i am just scared to know things he's laughing he's smiling he knows that he get it all right when Kari said that he got it, he is uh, three stars. So nicely done. And that's mean because both players hit the two triples. We will go to best of three. And that last hit from both players will be very important. It's not about am I gonna three star, but also how fast I can hit a triple. Because if the both players again gonna hit a triple, the time will be factors so maybe they will be switching to the dragon hits we will see klaus klaus match will be uh after this one uh so yeah be different what i was saying i'm always trying to be like happy you know like what would be point if i'm upset and i'm streaming you know like i'm trying to make you happy as well hope you guy love his reaction yeah Yeah, he got it, he got it. Uh, Ayush, so this one is, uh, we start with the first semi-final. So Sahara and Kari, both with the two triples. So now their last attack will be deciding who will go to the grand final. After this one, we will have Morio versus Klaus. That's the second final. And of course, we will be streaming also the grand final. <coughs> Uh, that saying Japanese people are usually kind and respect all the people even when losing much they will clap for the op uh, opponent that's our culture it's so nice like I love it I really do you know like uh have I said when I was watching that ATM versus Kmivokers in the world and the Kmivokers lost like they got my heart you know because they were clapping they were so happy for ATN as well you know so yeah it was just so nice reaction from them. My YouTube. <laughs> hey, yeah, I get it, sweetie. But yeah, they're all amazing. All right, so Sahara uh, is uh, planning. So this is very important. I think so he will go with the dragons. He has to. And we know. I was about to say Kari gonna use this base. Because Kari was in this situation before. When uh, 
the match went to best of three and these bears uh, can defend uh, dragons, you know? And we know that dragons are so fast strategy, so usually the people would go with the dragons, but this bears is so annoying for the dragons. So let's see what Sahara gonna do. Looks like gonna try to queen charge. It will be very long queen charge. Uh, and try to queen charge the top side. He gonna probably send some kill squad. I see the golem there. Is that Gaku? Oh, well, no, the casters are Oda, Stadra, and Yuta. Uh, Kali does more air attack, so we will have advance in the third round. But Sahara used two uh, Queen Charge Dragon Riders, so I'm, uh, I'm not sure if I agree with that. Hi, play, hello. <gasps> you woke up as well. Thank you, thank you. Hi, AK Gaming, hello. No, I didn't uh, ignore you. <laughs> I'm reading, I'm reading the messages. Don't worry, don't worry. Oh, he's going with the hybrid. It is hybrid, but he has golem on the bottom side. Hmm. I don't see hawks, but I don't think so he would go play without hawks. Like miners, that would be so interesting to watch. Susie loves to ignore. I don't ignore you. I sometimes miss one or two messages, you know? Yeah, in the middle co- oh, middle compartment. <laughs> the middle caster is Tadra, yeah. Oh. Any Indian championship is you cast? I don't know if there are any Indian championship. Uh, I didn't get the invite to cast any of these and uh, But they're covering also a lot of Indian teams. Oh Plague, thank you very much for gifting sub to Drew. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you Or uh, Oh uh, Thank you very much for a resub. See I need I need a uh, coffee more coffee <laughs> But thank you. Thank you very much something All right, let's go. This looks live. We will go live with the hit. Uh, if that uh, tool is on, uh, I don't know. Is it is it on Android or Apple? Not sure. All right, look, I will try. Uh, hi, Daniel. Hello, Anamsa. Welcome, Rahul. Welcome, welcome. Sadra smash is the best smash. Auntie Susie, I am from Slovakia. <laughs> All right, Sahara is in, and we going with the hybrid. Uh, Kari was using this base in the previous rounds, and this base actually hold uh, really well. So let's see. This is very important attack because both players hit the two triples. Now this final attack will decide who will win. Uh, if Sahara hit a triple, the time can be factor as well. So that's why uh, the players will try to be also very fast uh, with the attack. So uh, from the plan, we saw that he's planning to queen charge the top side of the compartment. And as you can see, there is many enemy heroes. We have a lot of defenses, uh, buildings around the town hall. So that queen charge with, wouldn't be very easy. But are we gonna send the headhunters to help? Yeah, there we go. He just brought the one headhunter, okay? Uh, she wow, she was able to hold the ability. Now she's gonna hit a double giant bomb, but she took care of the enemy king and the enemy queen. We having some uh, ground skeletons, but we knew that will be some traps. Uh, now he has to start uh, moving uh, with the kill squad. So he is using king and a golem on the bottom side. Uh, as you can see, uh, there is like the value of the kill squad be, can be very nice and he just won his hybrid to clear all these infernos in the middle queen got the town hall down hybrid is on the scatter shot and first inferno there is the warden ability uh, used but most of his hybrid kind of pushing also on the bottom side we finding some teslas around the multi inferno using the heal spell and the raid spell there as well so there's very nice use of the spells definitely like it nice call with the freeze 
uh, got the enemy uh, royal champion and also wooden this one looks like smash guys Sahara doing amazing job he popped the lava I know there are some enemy lava pups chasing his hawks but how fast we can be we still have queen and the royal champion with the shield boom 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 she's sniping some buildings I think so he will have like 60 seconds left so very fast attacks that's mean carry now has to be a very uh, careful how fast he can be because Kari know that he has to three star but he has to be faster than Sahara hi snoring hello yes yeah, smart guy extreme saying that was clean attack it was I like that one Watching 10k special video stream, I know. Oh, I, I promise. I promise really that video will be out. <laughs> There's so much streaming happening, you know. Mahadi, I will be streaming both of them. Yes, that's the plan. Oh. I, I gave you promise for the 10,000 video and it will be happening. That saying Sahara pretty good uh, under pressure as well. Yeah. Uh, Klaus will be playing after this semifinal. So polite or uh, reaction by the caster. It is. It is. Oi. Okay. I think so. Sorry, there is some uh, always some noise when they're planning. Okay. Yeah, the Stadra is the in the middle exactly. A very fast hybrid yeah i i was like surprised how fast he was all right so yeah looks like the carry going with the uh dragons but is he actually gonna bring three clone spells so this one could be go really good or really bad you know we will see what will happen because i saw the attacks with the clone uh, spells which smashed the base but also i saw the attacks with the clone spells where they didn't get like anything you know any value <clears throat> all right so he's trying to uh, use the king and the queen for the funnel but you can see he wants to get them inside that compartment where we have the eagle and the air defense uh, because he will bring the top side and clone uh, the loons there they should clear a big part of the base and that's mean the dragon should go uh, in the middle all right carry getting in his uh, position oh thank you Mura, thank you uh, who are the casters so on the left side is Oda in the middle is Tadra and on the right side is Yuta Yeah, that's what he does. Uh huh. <laughs> Can't go in for sleep now. <laughs> uh, sweetie, that's actually what they were doing in the qualifiers. But uh, do you remember when we were streaming top 16? There were so many matches happening. That's why the plan uh, kind of uh, didn't happen. But in the previous qualifiers, uh, that's what, how was it? This is the format, how they set it up, you know, like uh, showing their plans. But because in the top 16 there were so many matches, they skipped this. Because it would take, you know, if they're streaming for 7 hours, imagine if they also showing the plans, we probably would stream for 10. Rail, that's good, uh, good idea. I kind of like that idea. Why Kari showing his back? <laughs> because that is his position. All right, Kari coming in. Have I said now? Lot of pressure. He needs to three star, but also he needs to be very fast. He, his hit has to be done under one minute fifty eight seconds. Starting with the dragons. Dragons are very fast attack. But now let's see 
how much value we can get with the clone spell because he using three clone spells there we clone everything town hall went down those are actually clearing the huge part of the base i like it that clone spell work really well uh that dragon the rider on the top now is pretty safe his dragons in the middle compartment are clearing that multi inferno heroes are on the bottom side we are finding the tesla fan with the air defense and the scatter shot rc with the shield boom 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 she sniped the teslas dragons are on the scatter we still have two minutes uh, 10 seconds left how i said sahara hit was one minute 58 seconds how fast carry can be definitely gonna three star but is he gonna be fast enough we still have air defense up at the three o'clock corner we have some minions trying to help with the uh cleanup but as you can see there's still some storage is left one minute 47 uh seconds left only two defenses royal champion going we're gonna probably lose the rc we do we still need to get five buildings done are he gonna be first three buildings two buildings to go 25 it is it is congratulations to Kari for the win he's not even happy where is that happy smile Kari so we find out the first player which will be fighting in the grand final it will be Kari uh still big big shout out to Sahara amazing a job uh, from him you know like three three star but yeah Kari was faster with that attack so we will be seeing Kari playing one more time today and we will be uh, start uh, getting ready for the second semi-final we will have Klaus versus Morio yeah he did that like uh, do you, like in the previous attack he always smiled but now no he's like was serious i guess he because sahara you know their teammates and everything so yeah yeah the both are playing for the unicorn of love uh we have so many players like uh from kmivokers unicorn of love a uh, blaze jp it's every so team saved um gazi bummer am i missing something yeah there's like uh, so many also like youtubers uh famous uh, japanese youtubers and yeah that clone clear all the top right of the base yeah i was uh, i was scared that uh, the loons will not take that last uh clone spell on the top but they did and he crashed it you cannot see my screen. Uh, try to refresh, uh, Satish. I think so it's only on your side. Carry will carry on for the next one. <laughs> All right, let's uh, start a new prediction. So congratulations, everyone who was voting for uh, Carry. Here's your uh, channel points. But now we will be live with the second semi-final. I hope so, we are ready. We will have Klaus versus Morio so let me start uh, the new predictions uh, when this will be done so second semi-final and grand final that's the plan So predictions are on. A class must be in the pressure on him on behalf of the Kimivokers. Oh. The first vo vote was mine. Uh, who did you vote for? Hold my beer. Yeah, uh, the, in the middle, that, uh, that's Stadra, exactly. So it's Oda, Stadra and Yuta casting. Yeah, the new predictions are on. 
Kara is lucky his blim didn't find the tornado trap in the town hall. Yeah, it was kind of scary. <laughs> I was more worried about that clone spell on the 12 o'clock. I thought that the loons will not even go there, but they did. Like, it was epic hit. Now he had a tiny smile. I think so it was also respect to Sahara, you know? Of course, Klaus loving Kakmino cast. Nice, nice. Uh, where to predict? You should see it on chat. On YouTube. You should see it like uh, Paul. You are new in my channel. Oh, thank you very much for joining. I hope so you're gonna enjoy the stream. Alright, while we are waiting, I just want to uh, show you pretty fast. Give me one second. Okay, I just show, want to show you the bracket uh, pretty fast. So this one uh, was uh, top 16 players. Uzi, Choco, Gaku, Sahara, Yuya, Chihava, Kari, Hitui, Komanku, Morio, Komi, Stadra, Arlo, uh, Joker, Klaus, and Yopani. Uh, so, as you can see, we, uh, we have 16 players, and in uh, top 8 players were, uh, I think so, Choco versus Sahara, Chihava, sorry, Yuya versus uh, Kari, Morio versus Komi and Arl versus uh, Klaus. That was top eight. And now we are down to top four. And we had that first semi final, which was between Sahara and Kari when we saw the Kari go the win. Now we will be live with the second semi final, which is Morio and Klaus. And there is the small interview uh, with the Klaus. So, how I say, the first there's gonna be some interview with the players, and after that, we will go to planning stage. Uh, pro, this one is a uh, Japan Championship uh, one versus one in best of three. So uh, yeah, uh, there was a uh, few qualifiers around, and this one is final day, grand final. You don't see in the prediction in the chat. You can post it your prediction long zone. Uh, just type it in the chat. What do you think? Who's gonna win? Uh, where is the celebrate 10k subs? Uh, it will be. It will be. I promise. It will be. <laughs> One day. You mistake Yuya for Yuta? I know. Many people did. Like, many people did. Uh, my Instagram is Susie Gaming uh, COC. Yeah, he has the Bee Dragon t-shirt. This guy is genius, agree. All side, hello. Uh, if you want to watch uh, live in the Japan language, here you go, guys. Uh, here is the link. That's where is the live. <laughs> Mario, move your camera. <laughs> Stadra is front of you. <laughs> you can see just eyes. Oh, that's so funny. Who won the last match? Uh, Carrie did. Yeah, I posted. Oh, uh, it's on the YouTube. I posted the uh, link there. Yeah, truth. As you can see, here we go. I posted one more time. Ouch. YouTube thumbnail Klaus and this Klaus looks different. It's true. It does. They need the new pictures. Mano, welcome back. Ah, uh, you want to see all uh, Twitch? Here you go.
By the way, guys, thank you very much for a likes. We are getting close to 200 likes over on YouTube. Thank you, thank you. Hi, Jacob. Hello. Hi, Barmy. Barmy, you are awake. Good morning. All right, let's see how you guys are voting. So, YouTube. Going 94% with Klaus, wow, 6% with Murio. How is Twitch voting? Let's see. Uh, we have Mr. Pickles, all 5,555 channel points on Klaus. And we have Seal with the 2,000 channel points on uh, Murio. But yeah, most of people going uh, with the Klaus here. Arif, welcome from uh, Bangladesh. Yeah, Karivon, yes. Carrie won us. So we know that Carrie will be in the grand final. Uh, Mike, because of the accent, I think so. That's why. Hi, Sahil. Uh, he mentioned yes. Here you go. Uh, there is the link. Yeah, if you want to uh, watch the live stream in uh, Japanese language, uh, I post the link on Twitch and on YouTube. Hi, Tessa, hello. Thank you, Fanny, thank you. Tessa, please uh, stop spamming. Someone call you at 9 a.m.? Why you have notification on, Barmy? You know, don't have notification on. Easy fix. <laughs> so no one. Uh, price pool is a uh, two million Japanese uh, yen, which is like uh, seventeen thousand five hundred dollars. That's the price pool. Oh, uh, thank you, Ferry. Thank you. Yeah, Alonso, but we have also, like, we have uh, viewers uh, from different countries, you know, so... Because I'm also covering a lot of this kind of world, so we have also viewers from uh, Japan, so... It will be nice for them to watch it, you know, in their language. <clears throat> Let's go all, Morio. Best of luck, bro. Best of luck. Morio is amazing. Like, you have to understand these are, uh, like top four players right in a japan like there was like so many players fighting in each qualifier and these guys made it to the top four uh oda oda is on the left side stadra in the middle yuta on the right side Uh, hockey welcome from Indonesia. Hello. Alright, so uh, they did interview with the both of them. So I think so soon we will go to planning stage. I really like this music. I think so this music is uh so calm, you know. Uh it is kind <laughs> kind of confusing, sweetie, yeah. Uh, no way, I'm not going to hurt her, so it's, <laughs> it's my, uh, you know, testing and experimenting and all this stuff, so yeah. That's why the hair looks like how they do. Uh, when is the match? Pretty soon, Suyan, pretty soon. Uh, Spectre saying big fan of the uh, Klaus. Uh, when will a world championship start? So the grand final for the awards is uh, December 3rd to December 5th, uh, Lanson. 
Do you think I think are still gonna dominate in the world championship like they did in the previous one? I wouldn't be surprised if I see them in that are uh, like really like top two. Uh, but anything can happen. I think so. It's uh, also a lot of about the luck, and yeah. I think so. This time is uh, because of the meta. I think so. Seriously, anything can happen. But I'm sure ATN will gonna be one of the favorite teams there. You know. So do you speak Japan? This no, GG. I don't. <coughs> Aldo, hello. Yeah, I like the music exactly. Yeah, if you like the music, you just uh, check the description in on my uh, oh sorry, description in the below on YouTube, and you can find the both playlist. Susie, yesterday was an uh, amazing meeting you. Did you enjoy the uh, stream? That's nice, Ra. What is my current town hall? I have many uh, accounts. But I think so I'm just like farming on town hall 14. This music make you sleepy? Oh. I think so it's like kind of good morning music. A uh, Dominik a uh, December uh, od 3. do 5. Hi Trick, hello. Match time pretty soon guys, any minute, any minute. Uh, they're fixing, I think so, uh, Morio had the problem with the microphone. So they're just fixing that and after that we'll, they will start. You triple with the semi max time on 11 base with the 78 minions. 11 bars, but 2 star in the uh, time of 40 semi max base with the time of 40. Nice, Mano. Wow. 78 minions, that's epic. How many languages do you know? Uh, Slovak and English, a little bit. Oh, it's good evening for your time lapse. Sorry. <laughs> it's exactly exactly welcome to the stream how are you doing it how tall i am i'm not tall person uh i think so i am around 165 centimeters i don't know how much that's it yeah we have already like 300 votes over on youtube epic epic Uh, Klaus is about to uh, play Sabra. Uh, good evening, Tesla. I start Twitch first. I made YouTube. Like when I made the icon on Twitch, I made the YouTube, but I didn't do anything on YouTube. You know, I just created the icon there, and but I start as Twitch streamer. Giant Susie, wow. Short Susie. <laughs> Who is the middle person? Stadra. No, it's morning on my side. Yeah, the final is today, exactly. After the, this semi final, we will have grand final, exactly. Susie, so say something in your uh, language. Good morning. <laughs> no, dobre rano. Let's have you say good morning in the Slovakia. Dobre rano. This is the last joke. Uh, I don't know any English jokes. Like seriously, if someone tell me English joke, it's kind of take me forever to get it. <laughs> Uh, gold pass, we doing sometimes a uh, gold pass giveaway. Uh, the best way to, to be on my Discord. Hi, Coldeep, hello. Yeah, Dobre Rano, exactly, that's good morning. 
But I'm drinking coffee. Coffee. Uh, when Klaus will hit, I know you guys are waiting. I'm waiting as well. Uh, they will hit soon. The semi final is uh, should be right now. It is so uh, that's talking a little bit, and and I think so they're fixing a uh, Morio microphone. So it will it should start any minute. You have to be patient a little bit, guys. Sorry. Hi Vest, hello. Susie ignoring me. I don't ignoring you, bro. Bigger your webcam. No, we don't need to see me. This is not about me. This is about the amazing players. But teach me Slovakian, of course. Of course. But even now I have problem uh, to learn some or speak Slovak, you know. If I try to speak Slovak, it's like kind of... I try mixing uh, English and Slovak words. So when I'm talking to my mom, she's sometimes like, uh, you know. <laughs> because I'm still like, trying to talk fast and she's like confused because I'm using English. Oh, words there. All right, do you think, guys, we will go to best of three in this match? Like Morio versus Klaus, what are your prediction? Do you think we will go to base of three or it will end with the base of two? On the right side is Yuta, Oda, Stadra and Yuta. It looks like we are going to the planning uh, stage now. So I'm closing the prediction. Uh, YouTube is voting 92% when with the Klaus, 8% with the Morio. We have almost 400 votes there. So thank you very much to everyone who was voting. And now let's look at the Twitch. We have almost 10,000 channel points on Klaus from 11 and 7,000 channel points on Morio. Uh, from pro so best of luck guys uh with the voting closing the prediction on twitch as well and now let's focus on the first attack uh from uh morio so morio will be attacking us first and let's see what he's planning to do So see how did you get the link of the channel? They gave it to me. Alright, so what is planning? I see how he is. Let's see if he's gonna add the miners or is that gonna be hog hit? Oh my. Or just gonna. Okay, he's still putting the screen. I cannot see properly. All right. So looks like we will be blimping, uh, blimp bomb at nine o'clock corner. He's gonna try to uh, take care of the town hall with the king, real champion, and hoggies with the warden on the bottom side. I see. A queen for the funnel at the nine o'clock corner. That's maybe we'll be ending on the scatter and the eagle. How are we gonna get that multi inferno also on the top? Not sure. What do you think guys about the plan? Do you like it? I kind of worried about the scatter and the multi on the top. Because if we're going with the hogs, they will end on it. It will be not easy. You like the uh, this planting? Me too. Oh, in the Slovak language? No, I can't. I can't comment uh, in the Slovak language. Because I don't know how to say some words uh, in the Slovak, you know, like the buildings and stuff. 
How is this? It looks like COC play tool. <laughs> That's how it's called. Yeah, it doesn't look easy plan. Mm. I don't know. Like, seriously, uh, I don't know if you can see my mouse, but on the top, at the 12 o'clock, we have the scatter shot, and also there is the inferno. I just, it feels like it will be very hard for Hawks to make it there. You like? Palab like this plan? All right, here we go. Morio is in on clouds. Let's put our sounds on. All right, so we know the plan. Oh. Oh, they hit the... Oh, my God. This blim hit the black air bomb. And there's even tornado trap. I told you, Klaus' basis has OP traps. He was waiting for that blim. And he tried to stop it. They got the inferno down. They pulled the CC. I think so. He kind of... Uh, he's, uh, yet he's kind of still got the value here. Yeah, the bait fell. Alright, so we just are uh, gonna use the queen for the final because we know that we want to get a town hall with the king. Where we're gonna use the ice golem supporting him, you know? So the queen just gonna clear the rest of the building. So that's mean the king will go inside. He was trying to use the loons to cut the funnel on the bottom side. Alright, both king and the queen going in. We have enemy real champion there. Queen is on the visit tower. King activated town hall. Town hall should go down. And now Hog is with the real champion and warden coming in. What I was uh, saying kind of worried me that we're gonna end on the multi inferno and the scatter shots. This is not easy for the Hog. So let's see how he's gonna use the uh, heal spell and how Hog's gonna actually split because some of them you definitely go for the three o'clock side. So he has to send in this the rest of the three Hogs to also helping with the patting for his Hogs. He used the warden ability so the Hogs were protect now he's healing over the scat uh, sorry over the eagle we have the single inferno in the core which doesn't bother us uh that much but the 12 o'clock look at this multi and the scatter he's healing front of the scatter shot rc is on that single inferno i'm going for the multi the job with the royal champion is amazing she will grab that multi and he has still so many hogs left morio with the beautiful hog attack i love it 28 seconds should be more than enough. He got a triple. GG. I was really worried about that plan, but he smashed it. And it's not even close. Like, Klaus tried to bait him with that uh, blim there. But even when that uh, blim didn't go that far away, his Yeti still got the value. And Morio hitting his first triple. Definitely good hit. Do you know how to get a COC play tool? Oh... I don't know guys, uh, check the uh, store if you can find it. Yes, yeah, sweetie, exactly. Still got that value with the blim. Oh, it is? See, Regal saying it is in the store, guys. Just type COC play tool. Yeah, Palabi say. Oh. That is a uh, solid plan, exactly. All right, let me adjust. Sorry. Okay, mute it. Are hogs OP again? I think some you have to have like a good plan with them. But yeah, they can be uh, really good. Uh, 
So we, are, uh, we had a uh, break between the semi-finals, how I said, they were fixing a Morio uh, microphone, but now is everything good, so... We can focus on the semi, so what? Oh! Oh wow! Klaus going with the hybrid? Okay... Really? Alright, so we're gonna queen charge the town hall using the uh, king for the funnel and hybrid in the middle. You can find the uh, COC play tool. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of surprised that Klaus going with the hybrid. Simple plan, no risk. Ah, uh, Lokesh Gary won. Yeah, I know his camera <laughs> is like kind of shaking. I don't know what camera he's using, you know. So first hit from Klaus is in and we see that he is using hybrid. I think so was a very long time when I saw uh, Klaus uh, going in with the hybrid. So let's see how this will go. So starting his queen charge from uh, 6 o'clock, we know that he wants to get the town hall with the queen from 6 o'clock. He gonna funnel the 3 o'clock side with the siege barrack and uh, king. We already opened the wall at the 2 o'clock, so maybe that's where we're gonna push also our king to uh, grab that scatter shot with the royal champion. When I'm watching uh, this, uh, here is go, that's original stream, guys. There is the link in the chat. Alright, so Town Hall went down, we pulled the CC, so Queen is locked on three Ice Golem. As you can see, there is the King for the funnel and Hybrid going in. First starting with the Miners, Hawks behind, healing front of that multi Inferno. We need that Inferno down so the healers are safe. We have a big group of the Hawks on it. Now sending uh, that King actually go inside that compartment, tanking for that scatter shot. So that's mean giving some extra time his Hawks grab that scatter. He's using the Warden ability in the middle compartment. Royal Champion with the big group of the hybrid pushing for the multi Inferno. We have some Hawks trying to get the uh, Eagle. And we are finding the Tesla farm with the multi Inferno in that huge 9 o'clock compartment. Royal Champion is there as first she's getting low health so she will be forced to use the shield boom 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 she's sniping some tesla she's uh, getting oh yeah she got another tesla down and we're going for the inferno we should be good klaus is hitting the triple as well nice job from klaus so guys after the first attack both murio and klaus with the triples GG, GG. Uh, Mano, I did. Here you go. There is uh, the link. So just click on that link, and that is original stream, uh, which is in the Japan and it's a language. So.
Yeah, it wasn't even close, guys. It wasn't even close. Easy peasy, exactly. <laughs> Now we will have Klaus attacking us first, okay? With their second hits. Hi, Ivan, welcome back. You li oh, she said that he liked that base for the hybrid? I have still betting up, uh, Mr. K uh, because no, uh, you have to try to refresh. Sometimes uh, Twitch is uh, doing some kind of glitch. Uh, it's showing the predictions are on, but they're close. So if you refresh, uh, it will be definitely close. Is her covering his eyes? What? Uh, relax looking Klaus, yeah. He knew that he's like, he will get it, you know, so. <laughs> what is GG? Good, ma uh, good game, good game. Uh, yeah, the casters are Oda, Stadra and Yuta. Uh, first semi-finals was uh, Kari won against Sahara and now we are uh, live with the Morio versus Klaus. So it is best of three but it's working after two attacks the player with the most of the stars getting win. But if they are even on stars and even on percent we will go to best of three and then the final attack will uh, decide. Yeah imagine the pressure I know. Who is my favorite pro? I don't know, why uh, Harry is doing an amazing job, maybe I'm changing, sorry stars, <laughs> you know, no, I was a big fan of stars, like, uh, all Kvivokers are so unique, uh, and, but yeah, Kari, like, like, seriously, just streaming Japan Championship and watching these attacks, like, Sahara, amazing job, you know, as well, no, I don't know anymore, there's just so many amazing players. One misclick and you lose everything. Hmm? It could happen. Yeah, Sadra is in the middle. A GG means good game. Yeah, carry one exactly. To see why you clanless. Uh because I'm gonna join the clan for the streaming soon. So yeah. I'm not clanless, I'm, I have clan, but my icon is still traveling somewhere. <laughs> Merry Christmas, oh my. That is still early for the Christmas, guys, still early. It's just November. Stadra is in the middle. That's Stadra. Does it do celebrate Christmas? I do. But we celebrate different day. We have Christmas Day, which is 24th of December. We actually had an uh, opportunity to sell uh, because uh, in the few qualifiers they were changing the caster. Like Oda and Yuta was always casting, but they have some uh, host there. And so we saw Gak was there also, Stars was there, you know, and also Stadra were casting. Your favorite is Intense Tadra, I understand that. I think it was Castle of Hagumata. Uh, uh, Mabelaine. I think so he's from uh, that uh, clan. Alright, guys. So, Klaus is planning. Have I said a lot of pressure? Just seeing how these guys are attacking. Klaus has to hit the 3 star, you know? It really needs to hit the three star. Like anything that three kind of will almost send him home, you know? <laughs> Is he coming back again with the hybrid? Oh my. <laughs> You're gonna see the second hybrid. Are you serious? Oh, sweetie, it will happen one day. Don't worry, one day. 
Why did, why did I choose the blue color? I like blue color. And I don't know, I was changing. I was uh, dyeing my hair like so many times. And when I get it blue, I, I, I kind of find myself, you know? I think so this is me. This is Susie. Oh, uh, yeah, pro. You know what I want? I wanted a uh, baby dragon. Yeah, it looks like we'll be ha uh, hybrid again. Susie never pays uh, builders. True. That's why they are never working. <laughs> uh, Susie, you know Kazuma is my best friend. Is it? Kazuma is amazing. Uh, here you go, Nightmare. There is the link. Alright, so again we have been charging for the town hall. Seeing that hybrid will go from the bottom side. With the royal champion as well. And king. So what do you think guys? Do you like this plan? Like there's so many storages around the town hall. It will be long queen charge. Do they how to pass on the gifted subs? I don't understand uh that question, Chirac. Like, you want to give someone sub? I think so, you have to click on his name. Hi, Belgian, hello. Oh, uh, Daniel, I would say yes, but I'm getting so many friend requests, so I made it specially for the YouTube members as the kind of reward for the uh, tier 1 perk on uh, YouTube, you know? Why is uh, Klaus attacking again? So they're changing. So first was uh, Morio attacking us first, and now Klaus gonna attack us first. Oh, I don't think so, uh, Chirac, that is possible. All right, let's go. Klaus is in. So this is his second attack, guys. And he coming back with the hybrid. So we know he wants to queen charge at the town hall. And he gonna do the hybrid from the bottom side. So he just cutting funnel for the queen. We're gonna have two super wall breakers. They're using the baby dragon at the six o'clock. Alright, opening the wall for the queen. Using the hawk to pull the CC. That's so smart. Because uh, then he pulled the CC means that queen is not in the range of the single inferno, you know? So now she's uh, gonna be log on the lava, but x bolt doesn't really bother us that much, you know? And even sending some uh, loose there. Now, dropping the poison for the lava pups, sending some archer to help with the lava pups. Queen should be able to reach that air defense, and after that, start moving towards the town hall. We are using the king for the funneling at the 6 o'clock, and hybrid will go between. Nice use of the free spell. It's not just on the town hall, but it's also on that single inferno. As you can see, his hybrid is in, and he using his first heal spell front of the scatter. Queen is targeting the... Oh my god, single inferno. She popped the ability. She survived. Now we have siege barrack at the 3 o'clock corner. Hybrid is pushing for the uh, two multis and the uh, uh, eagle, so he decided to go with the warden uh, ability here, and I think so. It's really good call because hybrid is taking a lot of damage. We also saw some ground scaries using the uh, another heal spell. RC fighting enemy RC. Now the miner is actually gonna help her. His queen is quite safe there. She can clear everything around. Now we are moving towards that last compartment. We don't have heal spells left, but we still have two free spells. So if it's needed, we can free. RC with the shield, boom, 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 sniping all three Teslas and also grabbing that scatter shot. This one is triple for Klaus. That means Klaus hitting his second triple. Nice job, guys. GG. Very nice hit. And I'm still in shock that I'm seeing Klaus with the hybrid. <laughs> oh. Klaus OP, exactly. How many languages do I know? Two. 
or one and a half. <laughs> Any other streams today? Yes, we will be covering another two Queen Walkers Wars today. Yeah, nice execution, I know. Oh, but like if I have it, I would uh, send it to you. Yeah, ask. <laughs> oh. Klaus can do any attack. So now Morio has a lot of pressure on him because Morio uh, knows that he has to 3 star. Anything less than triple will be win for Klaus. Okay? Uh, Kriwok is at uh, what time? So. I think so. And 10 a.m. EDT and 12. But you guys are changing the time zone now. So I don't know if it's 10 or it's 9. It will be. I think so it will be 3 p.m. or hold on. Yeah, 3 p.m. Central European time and 5 p.m. Central European time. I'm so confused because it was our time was changing. So the plan is to cover to Quiwalker's Wars, but maybe I miss it because of the time zones. <laughs> so we'll see. You can speak four languages. I'm jealous. Uh, Susie, what is your best Town Hall 14 army? I'm using a lot of hybrid. Jinx doesn't work for you today. I don't want them, Jinx. Oh, Daniel, thank you very much for becoming YouTube member. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, uh, Daniel, are you on my Discord? Let me know, and uh, if you are, send me a message with your uh, name in the game so I, uh, you can add me as friends there. He did great hybrid hit, he did. But also that hit from Morio was OP. Like the Hawk's attack was awesome. Uh, looks like he, what he's gonna do? Oh, he's gonna Lalo. Interesting base from uh, Klaus here. In the end time, it will be 7.30 p.m. and 9.30 p.m. in the end time. Just have notification on. Uh, how, how long from now, Chirac? Maybe he can help us. The first war, how long from now? Ah, uh, yes, Daniel. How I say, if you are on my Discord, let me know. What is the score? Klaus with the two triples, Morio with the one triple. All right, Morio is in. So this is second hit. And how I say, Morio need to hit the three star. Anything less than a uh, three star, it will be win for Klaus. So Morio uh, starting here uh, with the blimp uh, ball. He's actually not using uh, Rage on Yetis. Uh, he's using Valk. The Valk uh, should uh, smash these uh, ground skellies and let the uh, Yetis to clear that compartment. You can see that we uh, got the Inferno. And I think so Yeti mine's even gonna get that air defense. Thank you, sweetie. Thank you. Alright, Sandy the Cocoloon trying to find any black air mine. Now Queen stepping in the compartment where we have two enemy heroes and the scatter. And also at the same time, uh, I don't think so we pull all CC. No, he just pulled two archers. That's actually good for him. Oh, that's perfect. That he didn't pull the CC while the queen was fighting with the uh, heroes. That was awesome. Oh, rage on the queen. And the queen surviving. Uh, 
dealing with the last super minions with the jump giving the queen access for the scatter shot and especially for the tamho royal champion with the shield sniping the uh, defenses on the bottom side king clearing some uh, uh buildings around the base and now we are starting the uh, with the lalo we know that we want to lalo the top uh, side of the base we need the queen to also get a scatter this is beautiful attack from morio like really like the plan here that queen charge super op guys like the value of the uh, queen charge amazing the lalo kind of was uh, pushing for the uh, defenses on the bottom side but now all loons coming back for that single inferno 50 seconds should be more than enough for morio hit the triple nice job so a uh, gg to morio that's mean this match will go to best of three final attack will decide who will get the win and if both players gonna hit a triple time gonna be factor nice job and i still haven't sent 999 messages in chat <laughs> father thank you very much for this up yeah you need to spam more father thank you thank you very much for this up thank you so a very nice job both amorio and klaus gg there we will go to best of three and this hit uh is not just about to hit a triple but it's also about how fast the attack will go so i think so players probably gonna change it to the dragons or some any other fast uh strategy hi daddy joe hello <laughs> fado how many messages you have let's see mm, 899 you are almost there almost uh susie i wanna continue esport career in coc as a player or as a caster venom help me there king walk it didn't really matter location that he was just so op you never seen close to the air spell he has to attack very fast. Pressure on him now. Yeah, I think so. Now uh, Morio will be attacking us first. Oh, Vane, thank you very much for donation over on YouTube. Thank you, thank you. Vane OP, hello, hello. Thank you very much for donation. As player, yeah. Uh, so if you have team, the most important is to get uh, five, six players uh and start uh apply for the tournaments you know there's so many like they're big tournaments and they're also like smaller tournaments i would would start first with the smaller tournaments to get the experience you know especially learn the timing uh because the 5v5 almost every tournament has timing hits and so so the all team alone when to attack communicate and so yeah i would start with the small tournament get some experience and after from that you will see how you're gonna do in the tournaments if you're gonna do well or oh, trust me the bigger tournaments gonna invite your team all uh, right thank you thanks to you i think so morio should attack us uh, first now hi usvi hello you think that e-dragon's coming <laughs> Stop it. Susie, uh, maybe Susie is going to be end. No. Many people saying that. Nah. Nah. It's, uh, many people are saying Susie is like. No, I don't believe that. No. And honestly, I am enjoying the moment. I. I, I don't I'm not like I in the past I was person which was trying to like plan everything but now I'm just enjoying the moment so I enjoying these days enjoying weeks you know and and don't really plan that much for the future and we'll see what the future brings so why should I be worried about you know if the COC will be here the next year or not when I can you know for what just gonna ruin my day no <laughs> I just gonna enjoy it moment why i can <gasps> klaus is attacking first okay that's surprising me uh the fact i think so is there is super chat it should be option for you uh 
if you are looking for the theme, uh, the best is I think so Twitter. Uh, you can uh, post a message that you are looking for the themes. I don't know like how many followers we have. Or you can keep eyes on the themes, like especially like some pro teams, you know, when they are recruiting. But also when you are joining the tournaments Discord servers, they have a channel specially focusing that you are fa uh, looking for the team, you know, esports. So uh, I think I would go to join some tournaments Discord servers and looking for the channel and post it if someone is looking for another uh, player, you know. That's awesome. I'm really happy that you are back, sweetie. Ali, here you go. Yeah, CLC will never die. <laughs> uh, Silati, so he is a uh, king of castle. Hagu, eh? Metal? I don't know. I'm not sure about that, Sil. Eventually, we'll. All games do. I don't know. Clash is here like for a long time. We'll see. All right. So what is surprising me here is uh, Klaus going with the hybrid. I don't and Queen charge hybrid. I think so. What he gonna try to do? He's gonna try to kind of send everything similar time, so there's gonna be happening a lot of multitasking because hybrid isn't the faster strategy. And this is not only about hitting the triple, but how I say the time is very important. So yeah. Surprised that we are not going with the air. Let's see how this will go for him. A lot of pressure on our clouds now. You think there will be so many giant bombs in the middle? You can say also the same of, about the traps, air traps. No worries, Venom. I hope so, I help. <clears throat> Hi, Rohit, hello. COC, you love it, X? Yeah. No, COC, uh, thanks to COC, I, I met so many amazing uh, pli uh, players, people, friends, you know. Alright, Klaus is in. This is the third attack, have I said, time is very important here as well. So let's see, coming in here with that queen charge from a 9 o'clock corner, already opening the uh, wall for the queen, he will try to be really fast here. Not even just aiming for the three star, but also aiming for the very fast uh, triple. So using the king for the funnel with the siege barrack. We know that hybrid will go in from the top side. Queen already grabbing the town hall. King didn't. Oh, king didn't go in. So king kind of going around the base. You saw that he opened the wall for the king because if the king went inside that compartment, he would push his hybrid to go inside in the court. Now I'm not sure how hybrid will uh, go. It is all right now. They are still going in the middle, which is good. Queen already cleared the nine o'clock compartment. We are using the heal spell and the raid spell in the uh, middle. Also the warden ability. There is still so many defenses around. Now we have some hoggies uh, coming around the base, but the eagle were targeting them and his hybrid is back on the wizard tower. That's bad. Royal champion getting distracted by some uh, lava bugs using the another raid spell there. Queen has to break probably million walls to be able to reach anything else. One minute, 30 eight second no the faster guys and his hybrid is disappearing i don't think so this is three star it will be defense i don't think a royal champion can save it he has the free spell and invisibility spell on rc but you can see from klaus reaction he knows he knows this will be no triple Nice try from Klaus. Morio getting the defense. So now Morio not uh, doesn't have to be worried about the type. He can go kind of, you know, with the strategy which he definitely gonna hit at three star. Uh, 
nice try we're well, kind of worried about the pets and even 77 pets and oh queen has like 47 seconds oh rip the healers hitting so many uh red traps but there is the scatter it will be goodbye to the queen uh pretty soon and yeah we will probably be around the 80 percent in this kind of tournament 80 percent don't think so gonna uh get him win here nice try klaus Oh, that queen is actually holding so well. Yeah, king went the wrong way, but the habit still kind of went inside the base, you know? But they didn't survive the core. I think so the problem was the miners all went back for that visit tower, you know? Alright, now we will see uh, Morio with the planning. So, Klaus needs defense. If Morio hit the triple, Morio will be advancing to Grand Final. We already know Kari is waiting there. Uh, uh, Andy, like, guys. I don't understand the people which came on stream and just spamming the same words over and over again. Yeah, Amorio now needs anything above 85 percent. Yeah, the previous attacks doesn't matter about the time. Yeah, the, the third attack is when they should focus on the time. You kind of understand? That's good, Fado. What they're saying? <laughs> no, Mori. I I was keep uh, giving him shout out. Morio is a very strong player. I told you that it's not easy. Uh, if a Klaus defense is gonna be again OP, I don't know. I don't really know. Uh, Klaus bases against the Yopani did amazing job. I don't know if Klaus can defend here. First, we recognize. I think so. We recognize this base, don't we? Or very similar. So maybe they change traps a little bit. Time to jinx. I know. But I'm not jinxing. <laughs> no jinxing from Susie. Is it going with the super smash? Uh, super bowlers, I mean. Lalo would want... He that I don't think so he's doing Lalo, he's doing ground. I think so he's doing like super bowlers. But that is now, you know, because he knows that he uh, doesn't have to bother with the time, you know, he can go with different strategy, he doesn't have to push for dragons or something. Yeah, Super Bowler Smash, yeah, I think so that too. Yeah, Daniel, just send me, uh, are you on my Discord, Daniel? I just need, or, or type it on a YouTube chat, what is your uh, name in the game, so I know. For how many hours are you streaming? Uh, today we are streaming a lot. So we will be also streaming Grand Final. And after that, I will think I take just a short break. 
I'm black. All right, so we have the sec oh, sorry, third hit from Amorio. So as you can see, the third attack from Klaus was 84%. If Morio hit anything above 84%, Morio will advance to the grand final. Let's see, so Morio starting here with the Warden Walk from the 3 o'clock corner. He will use the strategy with the Super Bowlers. So just using uh, the Warden to clear some buildings and setting up nice panel for his kill squad. Opening the first wall for his Super Bowlers. Alright, so Warden cleared all that compartment. Now pulling the Warden to join his kill squad. You can see using the Ice Golem tanking for the Super Bowlers. Using the King on the bottom side. Rage is in. Jumping over the air defense. And sending the same time blame for the town hall his warden was low health i think so expo was low on the warden so he had to use that warden ability a little bit earlier but that blame still made it he's using the raid spell there and the yetis i guess we have yetis or uh, should clear that compartment very nicely now we still have king clearing everything around but where are the, his super bowlers we are down to one super bowler outside of the base uh, he is on 62%. Still has both heroes' abilities. King nicely clearing everything around. So it's giving him another person. Royal champion with the baller clearing the bottom compartment. Queen has to break the wall. Seventy-eight percent, seventy-nine. Still have over than one minute. I would even call this three star because there is not many defenses. Ah, uh, building. Eighty-six. Morio got more than enough. That's mean. Morio will advance to the grand final, and we are losing Klaus in the semi-final. Nice job. It is 3 star. Even that his uh, bowlers kind of disappear in the middle. And we have some bowlers just keep walking around the base. It's worked well. So GG uh, to Klaus and congratulations Morio to moving to the grand final. I know Klaus was sad. I was trying to focus on that hit but I also was watching the camera. Oh Klaus was so sad. Oh. It even uh, made me sad, you know. Uh, Daniel just uh, posted uh, your game name here, so I know. <sighs> Where is the jinx? I know. There was no way to jinx it. I mean, it also he used this base, you know. We saw this base so many times, but this. You know, Quivok is also getting the bases ready for the world, so it's hard. Of course they do, you know, Adwin. You know, uh, two of casters are Quivokers uh, players, so yeah. Alright, so we know the result of the semi-finals. Kari won against Sahara and Morio won against Klaus. So we will go now to the grand final where we see Kari versus Morio. Uh, I'm gonna give you channel points. Congratulations everyone who was voting for Morio and let's start a new prediction. Uh, on which uh, icon did you send a friend like this, uh, Daniel? Let me copy that.
All right, uh, YouTube, you can uh, vote. All right, so Daniel, just let me know. All right, let's start also a uh, prediction on Twitch. Gary will win for his position. <laughs> oh. Honestly, like uh, the price, what is it? 250,000 Japan's yen for Klaus is still amazing price, isn't it? I still would be happy. What is my setup on PC? Uh, you would be. Uh, I'm gonna show it in the day K video. You will be surprised uh, because where we are living. <laughs> uh, I think so. There is small break. Hold on. Let me uh, find out how much is the break. It's not gonna be 14 minutes break. I hope so. I'm reading this wrong. <gasps> it is for. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. I did oh my. I forgot to check this. This is 14 minutes break. Mom. Um, okay. So, what we gonna do? I think we got. What we gonna do for 40 minutes? <gasps> 40 minutes break. Oh, rip. Okay. Uh, how am I gonna do this? <laughs> All right, I wasn't ready for this. I wasn't ready. I would like. I would like uh, end the stream and start a new stream, but we have so many streams today a legend leaks <laughs> i'm not in legends uh, how much is american um good as of the the price pool is seventeen thousand five hundred dollars a town of 14 of you were only friendly war Anyone in for the friendly wall? I don't know if we have enough people. Anyone in for the friendly wall? Let me know. Ah, take the break and come back. I know, but I, ah, YouTube will hate me for the notification. <laughs> oh. It is like, what, 2,200? It's still good money. Usfi will be in. Black will be in as well. Yeah? Okay. We can do friendly war. But we need 10 people. So, do we have 10 people which wants to do friendly war? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, next time Susie read everything. I should know about this at this 40 minutes break. Oh. Trick said that he is in. Trick is in the tournament match. Yeah, that's what I think that. Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, the morning. Oh, get some food. I'm not hungry yet. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, where is my iPad? I need another person who gonna op uh, make uh, the clan, you know, for the friendly war. Who can do it? You have clan? Okay. It's morning Susie Yaving, yeah. Oh! <laughs> oh. Uh, Sal knows that I never listen. I did so Sal uh, uh, gave up on me so long time ago with this listening thing, you know? I am very stubborn person. Which town hall is Alof? It depends like uh, what town hall we have. Right. Let me change the screen here while we are waiting. Okay, uh, I will go, let me go on this screen, oh no, let me go on this screen, and, oh my god, I'm so big, uh, <laughs> oh, let me fix that, alright, let's move this, let's make uh, me, let's be our uh, baby Suzy, and, mm, my iPad on. Okay. Okay. All right. So because uh, uh -huh. uh, we are using Jinx Academies. I'm sure is in the war. So give me a second. Let me hide this thing. Hold on. Dun, 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 dun. You can uh, use my old clan. All right, we'll see. If we have enough people. It will could be like kind of very fast, fast. Uh, friendly war. Oh, I have stuff here. Thank you. All right, so. Oh, it's all right. So anyone who wants friendly war, uh, join this clan, and. Like I will start uh, spamming your clan in a second. So let's see if we can get a uh, five people here. Good afternoon, compo. Ah uh, yeah, I am very uh, <laughs> very lazy with the Instagram. It's not lazy. I just don't know what I should post on Instagram. Like picture of me. Oh, uh, what the hell? I don't know. No one is. Oh, it's pretty quiet here. So, oh, Usvi, thank you very much for joining. <laughs> All right, we have Usvi. Is the time for 14, isn't it? Yeah. So let's first start. Uh, let's. Yeah. Uh, I had to bring time for 12. I'm sure we're gonna have some. All right. Hold on. Let Daddy Joe is in. Let's time for 14. Here we go. Uh, Wayne is in. Let's time for 14 as well. And a Barbarian King this time for 14. So hold on. So we have one, two, three, four. One more time for 14 for this. One time for 14 for my clan. Alright, that's it. So now let me show you the other clan, guys. So we have five time for 14. And let me. The other clan which you're gonna join, guys, is. Oh, uh, where did you post the clan tag? Okay. I'm gonna give you clan tag in seconds. What? Am I blind? Night two. Oh, I am. 
Give me a second. Eight. Q. Eight by eight. Hey, flag! I cannot find your clan because I don't know how to type. Here you go. All right. Is this correct one? King of Peace. <laughs> I cannot show this on stream. All right, I'm gonna just spam. This is clan type, guys. That's for the other team. Go, go, go. We need uh, five, uh, sorry, four more Tahoe Fortins. Join it. If I uh, if I fail, I'm gonna blame you for jinxing. Okay, you can, you can. Yeah, this is the second clan tag. We already have uh, five on my side, so now let, uh, another five. Let's go. Uh, Play. Let me know <laughs> when you have full team, right? Five Tahoe Fortins. Yeah, he needs four more. Uh, when I was from Toril and Tabatan, my team is OP, you know? Sorry, Plague. <laughs> You're going down. I have OP players. Three more. Come on, guys. It's for fun. Don't be scared. Down for 14s. Very sell. Sell. Time to install the... <laughs> <laughs> Time to install the game again. I know you guys are also all over Town Hall, but let's see if we can start with the 14s first. No, we can't take Town Hall 13s. We need 14s. <laughs> Not a Town Hall 12, Town Hall 11. Ugh. Any Town Hall 14 in the chat? I know you guys have lower Town Halls. You are Town Hall 15, you are from future. So the check, uh. Oh, maybe that people will be there. Oh yeah, okay. Oh yes. <laughs> All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Let me. Yeah, everyone is requesting to my clan. This will not work. We have to go to other one. Oh, I have to type that clan tag again with my old eyes. to the other clan. Come on, guys. Zed say, go, go, oh, Mario. I know. You have Town Hall 14? Okay. Yeah, I need two Town Hall 14 from uh, my team to uh, move. This is clan tag, guys. Let me copy that. I right, join this clan. Uh, Wi-Fi 
join this clan. You join mine. Uh, we need a. Uh, we need you on the other clan. Can you join there? So we have five people. Yeah, it's five versus five. Uh, like how many times of 14 do you have? You have 8 times of 14? What? <laughs> oh my god, you have 8 times of 14? Alright, I know one move. <laughs> oh, I know, we can do it. Alright. But I ha now what we gonna do? 10? I don't know if I have 10. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I have 7. I don't... <laughs> you have down 14? Okay, bring here. Bring here. You have down 14? Okay. You have done? Alright, so Paul and uh, the take. Go, go, go. Join my team and let's start. 10 versus 10. I know there is only 30 minutes left before the final, but there's gonna be short interview, so we have time. Yeah, let's, uh, we, I need three people, so hurry, hurry. We can do it. Yeah, here is the tag, guys. I need three more town hall tens. Uh, three, three more town hall four tens, sorry. <clears throat> yeah, Paul, you can join. Just uh, request to this clan so we can spin. Do, 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 do. Oh, this clan, <laughs> not my uh, player tag. Yeah, one hit, exactly one hit. Uh, okay, we're still waiting. Like, why is everyone going to your clan and no one to mine? The five versus four, five would be much, much easier. What did you offer them? Hmm? Huh? Is it time for 14? Okay, two more. Let's go. Two more time for 14s. Needs to join this clan. You have Danny Joe. <laughs> he can like one versus 10. Yeah, I have OP team. I, I feel really confident here, you know? Yeah, you, we are doing our friendly work a bit because we are waiting for the grand final. So, yeah. Uh, I don't think I will do another one because we, have, we will have so many streams after this. This is like between the... why we are waiting for the grand final. Sal, bring your account! All right, one more, just one more. Yes, yeah, very short. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, did you bring two? Awesome. All right, send it, send it. Send uh, 10. Uh, oh, I can send? Okay, give me a second. What was the clan tag? It's gonna be fast, so I will try to catch as many, uh, no timing, because we are doing uh, 10 versus 10, and we have like 30 minutes uh, before. Why I cannot change you, uh, send you a war uh, challenge, Mr. Plague, huh? Oh, you are already in the order club? 
I just put it 5 minutes prep, 30 minutes war, guys. Did you post send it? <laughs> now I have so many paper. Uh, oh, Chris is time of throttling, sorry. Ah, uh, you forgot the settings? You just want me to learn that clan tag. I know what you are trying to do. Because I type it so many times. It's good. I will, I will remember forever. Okay. What? Yeah, I put space, I know. Right, we have, yep, 10 versus 10. Go, go, go. No, Hamza, he has on. He suddenly has on wall. So we are now uh, have small break until the grand final will happen. So we are doing a uh, friendly war. Look at this, Sal, traitor, seriously traitor on the other side. I see, I see what's happening here. <laughs> That you're gonna join my team, but my team is OP. Look at this King Rob, Barbarian King, uh, the Dark, Joachim, Y5, Vayne, hello, Michelle, Usvi, Daddy Joe, and Rick. So, my team OP. You are claiming Daddy Joe base? <laughs> I'm sorry, by the way, that is four minutes only, that is kind of like uh, jamming of the CC. Sorry for that. Interview every flyer? <laughs> Imagine. Hi Rose, hello. Oh, you didn't want to embarrass SK with the attacks. I see. No, I'm not in war. How Imagine. That is uh, 20 of you. How am I gonna even show them? I'm gonna try to catch as many. I am. I am big fan of Susie Knights here, you know. My team just gonna win. We will see. We are aiming for the perfect war here. I hope so we are ready to lose. <laughs> oh, Rose, I'm good, good. Thank you, thank you. So confident, yeah. I have to like you know if I'm not confident with my team you know my team would do a bad no daddy job you're gonna like four stars no Christian at the tournament so uh tournament is still happening as you can see we are still in the uh there is break between the semi-finals and the final so we finished the semi-finals where uh kuri uh, kuri kari and morio got the win so uh they will be fi fighting in the grand final but we are still having breaks so using that break having fun uh with the viewers in the uh friendly war so don't worry you will not miss any attack
And do you want a new prediction for this word? But I already started this prediction for. <laughs> oh. It's all saying to start incoming. Imagine that Susie forgot to stream a uh, final. No, my, uh, I'm having the final on this uh, monitor, so I see it. If something, you know, happen, I will see it. New prediction? Okay. But we will have no... Alright, guys, I cancelled prediction on Twitch. Sorry for that. And... Let's start the new one. Alright, who will win? Of luck, my team. Best of luck. All jinx on you, King of BD. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, no timing hits as we are doing 10 versus 10. So, guys, you can attack anytime you want. I will try uh, to catch most of the attacks. So, yeah, best of luck, guys. You think that uh, King's gonna win? This is so funny! Susie Knights versus King. Of course Susie Knights are gonna win. You guys ask for the prediction, so if you want, vote. But I think so they are busy with the planning. Alright, we are- oh wow, we are going really fast. <laughs> Alright, let me put this on. How loud is it? Alright, B is going here with the E dragons on Barbarian King. Hey, you are guys are making fun of the walls. <laughs> you can't make fun of my walls anymore. Alright, we're already sniping uh, the town hall. Actually, let me put this on big screen so I can see the attack. Alright, we still have big group of E-Dragons in the middle compartment. Freezing the Eagle and the Scattershot. Real Champion coming in here to help, but we have to keep eyes on the enemy RC. It looks like that uh, his RC maybe have to fight the enemy RC as well. Let's see, Dragons are targeting them. We have two Dragons flying around. Oh, uh, not really helping that much. He's freezing again and has now second scattershot. He still have one rage. Decide to use that rage on the E-Dragons. RC going for the scatter. So she's doing a really good job. Like, the RC definitely clearing a big part of the base. And they hit a triple. They hit a triple. GG. I thought there was another hit happening. Uh, here we go. Black is on Daddy Joe. And Daddy Joe, OP base, getting the defense. So first defense for Susie Knights is in. Nice try, Black. Nice try. Hi, Krishna. Hello. Uh, are we for the friendly war or for the... Uh, for the like uh, in the Jinx Academy, help me. You did it one star, yeah. But you guys already won triple. A Camille, hello. Alright, Daddy Joe is in. Daddy Joe, I promise I will not jinx you. Going in here on Mr. Pickles. Look at this base. Has all four x bow front of the eagle and the town hall. He's gonna try to use the blizzard. This can be very nice value of the blizzard. If everything will go 
how he flung. He's not doing. Oh, he's doing super archers. Daddy Joe, OP. They grab the all four X bow. Now they are not really going for the town hall or his scatter show. When you are doing this kind of strategy, uh, you will not have uh, spells left for the Lalo. Kind of unlucky. The super archers kind target targeting he heroes instead of uh, going towards the town hall and the scatter. So the town hall staying up now can be a uh, huge problem because we have no spells for the Lalo. I like that idea with the super archers. Just really unlucky they didn't but, uh, go for the town hall and the scatter. Now. Uh, let's see how the dragons will do, starting them from the top. Using just E-Dragon. Wow, we have E-Dragon and Loon in the CC. Queen is on it. Dragons always going towards the multi, but we are taking the damage from the town hall, so that's why we are using the warden ability. Both scatter shots still up. We have two single infernos behind. Dragon's grabbing the uh, last scatter shot. Now, the poison doing some damage to his dragon, so so many of them are low health. But look at this royal champion shell. She sniped uh, another inferno. Now, we have that one air defense left. Air defense going down, but we are down with the dragons as well. Only two of them. It will be defense. Nice try from uh, Daddy Joe. But seriously, if his super archers went this way, it would be definitely a uh, three star. I like that idea, Daddy Joe. Nice try, nice try. And definitely don't blame me. I, I have no jinxing from my side. I am innocent here. <laughs> Who won the Japan Championship? Uh, I wish that if we are in the break time, uh, the grand final will start in a few minutes. That's why we are uh, doing friendly war. Your person was higher, wasn't it? Hold on, the job is still attacking. How much uh, he is on? Oh, yeah. Oh, because we don't have much cleanup. I see. Like, look at this. He, om he almost destroyed every b uh, all base, just the buildings around the base. Nice try, nice try. All right, Wi Fi is in. All right, we have Blizzard Lalo. Well, let's see. Blizzard is in. So using invisibility spell on Super Wizard. Right now that single Inferno is invisible. We are still have like uh, two enemy heroes there. We got both enemy king and enemy queen. Now, oh my god, the Super Wizard going away from the town hall. <gasps> we are so unlucky with this Blizzard thingy. Why? Oh, they were standing next to the town hall and they ignored it. Oh, that's unlucky by five. I really thought that you can get that town hall. Now, let's see if he can recover it. Yeah, this one is friendly war. Uh, the final will be in like 15 minutes, guys. So, 15 minutes left until we will be uh, showing the grand final. Uh, Klaus lost against uh, Morio. So, the final match is between Akari and Morio. Hi Dharma, hello. Like saying I love uh, Friendly War. Yeah, I haven't done uh, Friendly Wars for a long time. I'm missing that. We need uh, like having fun like this, you know? Oh, predictions are still off. Not many people are ready, you know? So, okay, I'm gonna close them. I think some people were ready for the uh, grand final, so. Yeah, he really trying to take care of the town hall. Queen still has the ability, but single infant no load on uh, her. The nice freeze on that single and the town hall. He has only one minute left. That's mean that uh, Lalo has to be so, so fast. Come on, Queen, go for the town hall. Popping the ability, town hall should go down. We are starting the Lalo from nine o'clock corner. We have a bunch of Teslas and a scatter shot. If he listening, deploy the minions. You don't have much time. Immediately, minions behind. Let's go. We 
need to start the cleanup. Now the loot split it a bit. Some of them are on the single inferno freezing. Knife freeze on the bottom side. 30 seconds left. This is so close with the time. Freezing again. Or oh, if that loon trying to get the archer tower 23 seconds. Honestly, we have enough troops. Are we gonna have enough time here? Come on, Susie guys needs to hit a triple. 14 seconds left. I think so we got it. I think so we got it. It will be three stars for us. Nicely done. Especially that his super wizard didn't get a town hall like that hit. Alright, let's go. Namsa is on the rig. What he's doing. Looks like that he went with the hybrid here. Uh, he's down just only heroes. Royal Champion and Warden. His hybrid kind of disappeared. He has only a few uh, miners left on uh, that scatter shot, but they are taking the damage. So this one uh, will be a defense for Rick. A nice try from Namsa. We have another live attack. King Rob is in. Twin charge, miners. Okay. No hoggies. We just going pure with the miners. So he's trying to queen charge where is the town hall. But this is kind of lower town hall 14, isn't it? Now when I uh, look at the uh, levels. Single Inferno Lock on Queen using the Invisibility spell and the Rage. Alright, she's definitely uh, okay there. Now, 1 minute 44 uh, four seconds. I'm just thinking from which side. Uh, sh he will start the hybrid. What they're watching. It is a friendly war, guys, while we are waiting for the grand final. So, we have still like 10 minutes until the grand final will start, guys. So we are having fun with the friendly war. Oh, so we have hogs in the siege barrack, okay. Oh, rip. Few hogs flying on the spring trap. One minute left. Are the Susie Nights OP? Yeah, of course, we are. <laughs> I don't know the score yet. I'm watching still hit. So I don't know. But you guys, I think some of you already hit a triple. So you guys are OP too. 41 seconds. Uh, are we gonna have enough time here? 37 seconds. Miner split. Queen can clear definitely these buildings. Royal Champion still with the shield, I would call it. It is a uh, three star for us. Nice job from King Rob with the triple. Let's see how you guys are, who we have in. Uh, Sal! Sorry, Sal. We're gonna show your attack. Sal is in, coming in here with the super bitches. Alright, he has Valks. Uh, who's in the siege barrack? Alright, with the second jump, actually, Valks uh, join, but. His witches with the queen were, are kind of special here because they decide to go around the base. Yeah, I think so Sal has the same queen I, I do, you know? She like she, she just doesn't want to listen. But maybe he still can recover. Depends if the queen will go in. No, who said that is she going around? The core is still up. Yeah, I don't think so he can recover after this. The queen and the super witches just like didn't want to follow the jump spells. Yeah, nice try from Sal. Nice try. Uh, Usvi is in. Let's go. 
I will try to show, by the way, all triples like between uh, uh, number. Look at the, the number nine and eight. Do I attack them? Uh, three guys. I didn't check. It was wrong there. <laughs> attack. Yeah. Just use your hit. If they forgot to change the base or something. Well, we have another hybrid hit here. Uh, he lost the queen at the 12 o'clock, but his hybrid still a big group of the miners and hogs in the middle compartment. Nice use of the heal spell. These hoggies will catch up and start moving towards the inferno. On the bottom side, we still have big group of the wizard. We were a yak tanking for them, but probably now we're gonna lose some wizard there. Still have royal champion with the shield. Spring trap losing the another two hogs. Big group of the miners going for that last inferno. I see with the shield. Boom, boom, boom. Sniping the scatter and all the uh, defenses. Deploying some cleanups like the minions on the other side. 50 seconds left. Usvi hitting the triple. GG. I saw another attack. Let's see how the Rick is doing. Alright, what the Rick is doing? Uh, looks like super bowlers. How many bowlers we have left? Oh wow, it's only one super bubbles. This could be in the trouble here. We are far away from the town hall. We have the jump spell. There is still two ice golem tanking. Real champion trying to clear that multi inferno on the bottom side. definitely down but I don't know if the three heroes can finish the rest like real champion staying in the poison warden and queen gonna be in the poison it will be our uh, defense nice try from our uh, rig there and yeah let's go mr. pickles is in how mr. pickles is doing oh defense there The poison from the town hall is horrible. Alright, we have dragon hit here. Oh, sorry, now I see the overlay is kind of in the screen of Clash. I have wrong one. On. But we were doing first, like, kind of kill squad. Interesting. I did so he wants Queen to go for that multi inferno. She already used the ability and the expo is log on her, so he's not gonna get really the value uh, with the heroes. Because he was using the log launcher. I see. It'll be scary to get the town hall. No, so I, I, I have it on screen. They haven't started planning yet. They are still good. And this so they will still do interview with the players. Yeah, look at this all uh, hybrid uh, attacks. I know, right? All right, I see is on the multi inferno, but she's log on the lava, and there's so many air traps. Dragon Rider came uh, to help. But I think so Tom will stand up. Yep, yep, yep. Nice try. But Vayne with the huge defense. I don't think so the Dragon Rider can get the town hall. And we have uh, nothing left there. So uh nice try. Uh any other side? No, we are here. Let's go. So this is something for you. Look at this. I'm going in here with the witches, mass witches. Using the log launcher, the log launcher definitely should be able to open one more wall. Neat. We got one inferno with it, but I kind of don't like that Queen is so far away from the town hall. She's kind of pushing where is the real champion on the scatter shot. Could be this of the one star. 
Like there is Tesla farm guys. Around the town hall. Wow the king got it. Nicely done. Nice job. The witch is definitely gonna clear. Like you actually smash with the mass witches. That's OP. Uh, but this is a uh, friendly war why we are waiting for the uh, grand final. Uh, there is like kind of small break between semi-finals and grand final. Alu, Reon. Good job, beautiful three star with the uh, witches, GG. Alright, uh, Vayne is in. Oh, <laughs> you guys forgot to change the base, did you? Oh. Oh, you really did. Who doesn't know in the friendly world that you need to change the base? Ah, uh, bro, it's about to s happen. It's about to happen. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, uh, I think so we have time for the last one. <coughs> For the last one, because our uh, players are about to start planning that grand final. Let's look at the last hit, and between the planning, I will gonna catch up and show more attacks from you. But oh, definitely a big shout out to you guys! <laughs> thank you very much for joining that friendly war. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, very OP, right? <laughs> oh. Yeah, I don't. I think can the royal champion get this done? I think so. She should. Yeah, really. Thank you very much for joining, guys. That friendly war. Uh, pro because we cancel the predictions. Uh, I'll make the prediction for this war. That's why I'm gonna make the new prediction soon again. Oh wow, sniping that last building, GG. Sorry guys, I know that it's still like uh, 9 minutes. Uh, I will show the, uh, some triples between the attacks. But, in my own correct screen, no, I'm not. We are about to start attacking here. So, as you can see, we have Kari versus Morio in the grand uh, final. I'm gonna uh, start, uh, give you prediction. Why is it happening in the screen? Uh, and we will catch up at this uh, heat in a second. That's weird. Why is it happening? Why is it uh, blinking? Okay, it should be... Uh, give me a second. Let me restart it. That screen. Not sure why is the screen blinking. Didn't do before. Yeah, guys, thank you very much for joining. Thank you. guys so are you ready for morio versus carry in the grand final of the japan championship yeah definitely we're gonna do more uh friendly war it just reminds me how much i am uh, mixing it so yeah let's go carry is in let me put the uh sounds on coming in here with the dragons Uh, 
uh, blaming the town hall using the king and the queen walking around the base setting up the kind of funnel to keep these dragons inside that hole went down in the middle compartment we have still eagle some of the dragons are chilling with the uh, heroes and i just don't like his warden is following there as well his dragons disappear in the middle compartment so he decided to send a royal champion but definitely not good star for Kari here it looks like morio could get a defense he definitely gonna get a defense because we are down to the royal champion and the queen with the one freeze left as using the shield but as you can see after that our uh, shield she will die and it this defense is not high person either Kari really is in a big trouble right now because it is 67 percent he freezing trying to get few more buildings with the queen but the lucky will be if he gonna get closer to the 70 percent so nice try from Kari but a big a big defense for Morio here yeah let me start a new prediction uh play, play, what do you think i think we won right i would call it now right, let's start our pretty fast the new prediction the position didn't work i know I will see if someone, but I think so that now the predictions are too late. You know, because we already saw the first attack, so we're gonna... Let's see. If you want, guys, vote over on Twitch, you can. No, Klaus lost in the semi. Klaus lost in the semi. Alright, now we're gonna look at the plan from uh, Morio. Star is not playing. He uh he didn't qualify. You know he was a few qualifier rounds, but didn't qualify. Yeah, that was Kari attacking pro. Yeah, Kari failed. Now we are waiting for the uh, Morio first attack. Yeah, Klaus lost. Exactly. Alright, so I think so he will do... Alright, he's planning Blizzard. Is he going with the Hoggies again? We saw his uh, Hogs hit uh, in the semi-final against the Klaus. Do you remember uh, how crazy that hit was? I know, Mr. Prickle. I'm gonna close the prediction after Murio hit. It's your risk if you go with the carry or not i know that carry hit that first attack didn't go uh in but you know you never know uh gaku gaku yuta and uh stadra they were they were in the top 16 guys they were in the top 16. Only a few minutes. They they are planning only a few minutes. Like, like right now, they are planning. So I think so. It's like around three minutes. Hi, like hello. 
Yeah, something like that, Venom. Something like that. Alright, so Morio is in. Alright, so he's not queen charging. Uh, he will have 34 hogs sa starting first uh, with the blizzard. Beautiful. Uh, Scattershot is gone. Let's see how much more he can get with the uh, Super Wizard. And we pull the CC. I would say a uh, nice value of the uh, Blizzard there. Yeah, they're running the plan. In the previous stream, when we were streaming top 16, they skipped the plan uh, stuff because if there were so many uh, wars happening, we were like already streaming like for 7 hours but in the previous qualifier, they were also showing that the plan there is like kind of format they are using, you know so also letting uh, viewers to understand what these guys are planning and why they decide to go with that kind of strategy Alright, now we're gonna try to sue the bottom side that the value of the sui can be insane like they should be able to clear all that compartment especially because we are using the ice golem tanking for the heroes they find the tornado trap so he's using invisibility spell but the tornado trap push out the uh, king away uh, from that uh, invisibility spell now sending his hawks multitasking happening while the heroes are fighting on the bottom side his hawks are in there was big group of the headhunters because we have enemy king and enemy queen there I think so it's like four or five headhunters there modern ability right now protecting the hogs in the middle compartment we have the multi inferno royal champion go for it and uh, now healing the nine o'clock corner look at how big group of the hogs he has murio insane hit like that last hill perfect over that scatter some hogs hit the giant bomb but they are back in the hill spell queen go the town hall she still can clear and help the hoggies clear the uh, last defenses murio smart smash it smash it again with the hawks attack beautiful beautiful hit and now carry in the huge trouble because morio what he needs with the second hit if morio hit anything above 79 percent it will be win for the morio uh i'm sure they are uh having only few minutes for the planning yeah, overkill, exactly. Uh, I will link to them uh, in the future streams. I know that you guys are asking me uh, also at the gun stream, so I will between uh, wars, but uh, not right now. Oh, they both have uh, teams, uh, Mac. They both do. they planning but they have only few minutes because there's like interview between the matches you know And this one is best of three. And this so they change it. This so there will be three attacks. We're all trying to find out. But it should be. Moyo is so close. Alright, now I like closing the prediction. So yeah, best of luck to everyone who uh, who vote. And we're gonna uh focus. Yes, good hit right. I really like uh, that hit uh, with the Hawks, that was OP. It 
Yeah, GG team, guys. GG. Thank you, by the way, for uh, joining me in the friendly world. Thank you, thank you. I know that you, most of you are uh, busy, and I really appreciate that you find the time and show some hits there. So thank you very much for that. Uh, Morio should attack now as first. Very long stream. Oh, only three hours, I think. It's fine. We will have two more streams uh, later today. I think. I think so in two hours I will be back. Again. And again. And again. <laughs> A lot of Susie today. Okay. Let me unmute it. So, Gary has no other choice. He has to three star and hoping for the defense. So, let's see what he's planning with his second attack. Those are his will be queen charge. Yeah, definitely will do more uh, friendly wars. I kind of always scared to do them because of the, you know, trying to get the uh, <laughs> players to the club. But you guys were awesome. Like we got 20 players, you know, that's awesome. Why Tanjim? I kind of like it because it's not like you are seeing that in every tournament, you know? So it's making this one special. It's not my screen. Uh, they have some technical problems, you know? They're trying to fix it. I know that is like kind of, uh, but it's not on my screen. What is your favorite Indian team? Uh, I like a lot of streaming like Indian Clash or like Indian Tribe or uh, Marcos Gaming. So we are streaming these guys, That's which I uh, kind of recognize from Indian teams. All right, Gondal, we'll try. Yeah, carry bag is his position. Let's see. He has to three star. He's, uh, imagine this one was actually like first carry fail, you know? This one he was hitting all these triples in the previous round. Uh, Alorero, a nice hit, by the way. Nice attack. Alright, Kari is in. So he will coming in here uh, with the hybrid. We are seeing many hybrid attacks today. Alright, so he gonna try to queen charge a 9 o'clock compartment, pulling the CC. A towel isn't activated, so that's good. Dropping the poison on the super minions, freezing the archers. And now starting the hybrid from 12 o'clock. Healing over the scatter shot. Do you think the miners will go for that multi inferno? Looks like they, they split a little bit. Warden ability use. Nice. 
some Teslas in the middle compartment. We are some hoggies and miners trying to get the eagle, but they are taking a lot of damage from the multi. So we losing that group of the hybrid. Now we have some extra hoggies coming out from the siege barrack. King was trying to clear uh, some uh, buildings at the three o'clock corner. Queen in that uh yeah wow her heal has almost died but she oh now they die rip the red bombs uh healers are gone rc is chasing gramscale she coming back for the multi inferno we have one minute left as hitting the giant bombs of her health going down using the loons trying to snipe that cannon rc is on the visitor minion on the mortal queen and the warden trying to clear some buildings on the bottom side we have the baby dragon there as well royal champion was able to survive so that's mean that wizard and the minion gonna grab few uh buildings i think so we will be okay it was close attack maybe uh harry has a lot of pressure on him you know doesn't look like he was ma making many mistakes in the previous round but maybe now pressure got him but still th this is his first triple so his result is 79 percent two star and the triple so uh gg akari we will look at the second hit from morio but how i say if the morio will hit anything above 79 i think so will be win and i don't know if they will go also to the third attack it's still, still trying to find out hi danjuri i'm good how are you Alright, Morio is planning. Uh, let me check. You guys are asking. Uh, Morio, Morio. Let me find out the information. Okay, that's your funny. Uh, Stadra, Gaku, Lava. Just one second. So he is playing in the clan Castle of the Hagra Metal. Oh, hold on, Ed. I'm reading wrong one. It's Mori. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Hold on, hold on. Looking for that. Oh, I miss it. Hold on. That is so confusing. Oh, Morio playing in the team sect. He w I don't know if he's still playing there, but he was playing the, uh, in team sect. Here we go, I find him. Uh, Morio is teammate of Oni and Uzimata. So, it did help you find it. Uh, you can find it in the shop Asabir. Just look for the COC play tool. OP plan by Morio. You like it? You, what are you gonna do? Queen charging at uh, the top side with the log launcher towards the town hall. And he's gonna do Pekka smash. He has to jump. Maybe bringing the jump, the second one, as uh, plan B if the log launcher will not open the wall, which actually could happen. 
It's a long way for the log launcher. Alright, let's get sounds on. And here we go. So, have I say carry with the 79 pets and, and the triple. Morio with the first attack was triple. Now coming with the second hit and going with the Pekka VV. Yeah, it's could be one star. Exactly, because it is risky. How many jump spells he has? Oh, he has actually just one jump spell. I just thought he will be like kind of patient with the jump to see if the log launcher is gonna open the wall that is the town hall. Alright, so we know that he will try to queen charge from the top side and sending the lo log launcher with the queen. So trying to force her to go towards the town hall. Because he's gonna like separately queen charging, we will not have uh, healers for his pickaxe and supervisor. Alright, Log Launcher is in, starting his golems and pickaxe. Supervisor soon behind. Log Launcher should open pretty soon the first wall for the queen. There we go. Log Launcher is actually still have enough health. I think so, we need like three more hits break the uh, another wall one more i think so he got it but healers switch are they back oh queen doesn't have healers oh my god rip the queen and he dropping the invisibility spell too late queen died oh yetis are hitting the tornado trap they are dying <gasps> it could be one star oh rip the healers switch there they betrayed Oh, uh, the queen. Now he's sending the royal champion. Can he save this? We know that Kari hit a 79%. Morio is on 64% here. Trying the best with that royal champion. Royal champion still shield. I think so. She can grab the town hall with the shield. She did. But it will be not uh, three star. He's on 71% here. Wow. 73, 74, RC dying on that single inferno. We still have like 58 seconds left. Headhunter on that building, that's 6, 76. Wizard gonna grab the storage. That is 77 percent. We have 43 seconds. <laughs> Imagine if both gonna be on 79. 78. Oh, that means are so smart. Staying away from the single inferno. That's 79%. It's actually... They are even on percent. Are you serious? And Kari is still in this. I cannot believe that. <laughs> they tie. Wow. But yeah, uh, what the say from uh, Morio? Nice a job with sending the real champion to just making sure he got the town hall down. But we're going to base of three. Yeah, no way. <laughs> Kari is so lucky that was. Oh my god. This is the OP grand final, you know. It will be sad if that's finishing after two attacks. So now they will do one more hit and if the situation gonna happen they both will three star the time is the factor okay so <laughs> yeah now it will go the time if they three star it will go to the time with that the last attack <sighs> oh <laughs> wow it was so awesome <laughs> guys i will i will laugh yeah, he recovered nice. But I think so Kari was like, <gasps> you know, because we couldn't see his face, but he was, I think so, he was like really counting, you know, buildings. It's just so crazy. They both hit the 79%. Uh, hashtag hello, hello. <laughs> Yeah, all I needed was 80% to start, I know. 
He made it special for us, you know. Alright, so they just now uh, give them a few minutes to plan the hits and we'll be soon seeing that last attack, last attack will be decide who will be champion of the Japan Championship, who will be the best player, will be that Kari or Morio. How I say, a uh, few days ago we were streaming uh, Top 16, as you can see we had Uzi, Choco, Gaku, Sahara, Yuya, Chihava, Kari, Hitui, Komanku, Morio, Komi, Stadra, Arlo, Taniyasha, Klaus and Yopani in the top 16 and now we are live with the grand final. Kari and uh, Morio made it from, wow, I just thought it was like 1300 for each qualifier, you know, so many players were trying, you know, to get in this top 16. Hi Sanjit, hello. Also, if you guys are curious who these casters are, so on the left side we have Oda, in the middle is Tadra, and on the right side is Yuta. And here we go. We are in the planning stage here. So, Hi. more you know, uh, mo oh, Hold on. So, it's there. Me again. Hi. All right, more you're gonna try to uh, explain us uh, the plan. He's going with the E Dragons. I was saying it's not now only about the three star, but it's also about the time, how fast you can be uh, with the attack. So, more you decide to go, uh, looks like with the E Dragons. Uh, he gonna zap the sweeper here, so we know from which side that uh, E-Dragons will go. Ah, oh, thank you gaming, thank you. You wanted golden pika? I wanted a uh, baby dragon. Zim, Elvis, hello. So, what do you think about his plan, guys? I think so. Choice of uh, any dragon attacks for the throat hit, I think so. Is good choice. Do you like his plan? Do you think it can work? Now, but you are OP. You like the Archer statue? Oh, where is that? Is that? I don't see it. Oh, you mean the Archer statue? Oh, <laughs> I thought that you are talking about Benz, you know? Oh yeah, I have the archer. I actually have her. She's cute. I don't have barbarian. I think I have I have archer, wizard, a uh, bunch of goblins, a uh, baby dragon, and what I elf. A uh, giant. That's what I have. Oh my cat woke up. Luna already trying to destroy my lighting here. <laughs> Luna! Oh, my green screen. Luna, what are you doing? Go, cat. Oh, I'm not gonna feed you. Go, go, go. Alright, so uh, Morio is alive. Coming in here with the E Dragons. So we know that he will try to uh, zap uh, that sweeper in the middle compartment. Let me put the sound on. 
and now deploying all these e-dragons i was saying the time is very important in this attack so know they are aiming for the three star but also has to think how fast they can triple the second rage not really that much value looks like the uh, e-dragons stay mostly on the bottom side of the base and kind of ignoring the eagle we have like another e-dragon on the top maybe that e-dragon can do some uh, damage to the eagle he was a uh, kind of trying to cut the funnel with the rocket balloons there now using the rage in the middle compartment his dragons are actually disappearing pretty fast there and wow his dragons are actually gone we have some dragons on that multi inferno he's blimping the town hall this will be it could be defense for kari real champion coming in we pull the lava the lava is chasing the king that's giving real champion some time but we have only queen and the real champion uh with the abilities he has two free spell can he somehow still three star R sorry queen using ability rc will use the shield pretty soon there's enemy king that's bad for the real champion she will be not able to survive she's going for the inferno it is defense for kari morio it will be decent percent but it is defense and that's huge Kari now has the opportunity get the win here we are on 87 percent 87 percent to star yeah there is one on front of Yoda I see I see Did Hound stay up all time? Yeah, so true. So true. He needs 88. You know, but also what is good? Uh he doesn't have to go with the dragons, but he decided to still go. And you remember Murio was using this base against Klaus. Klaus decided to go with the hybrid on it. Uh Kari going with the dragons here. And he going with the clone spell. We saw the uh three clone spells uh attack uh, which he was using in the semi-final and that was beautiful hit that was a really beautiful attack like the value of the clone which he got that was very op so now looks like he's going uh with the same strategy he knows that strategy can be uh pretty fast uh if this can work but now more is about the three star than the time yeah getting to his position high fahim what is the price? So there is 2 million uh, Japanese uh, yen? yen. Yen, sorry, 2 million Japanese yen, uh, the price pool. So that is around $17,500. Go position, go. <laughs> Um, I'm saying they shouldn't go with the air attack on this base. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Like 88%. I just hope so. Maybe uh, he will get that value with the clone spell, you know? Like, if the clone rules can clear everything around the town, that would be insane. Ah, uh, Trick, I should be live in the 1 hour 30 minutes again. And we'll have two more streams uh, today. All right, so are you ready for that final attack, guys? Final hit. Kari is in. 
and coming in with the dragons. So using the e-dragon just for the funnel, looks like that we are finding a few Tesla in the 3 o'clock corner where we also have to fight the uh, enemy king. We have so many storages uh, around. So another easier uh, a funnel, that, that's why we are using bold heroes. And now, rest of the dragons coming in. We sent some alums, but well, I think so two of his dragons already hit uh, two black air bombs. He pulled the CC, dropping the poison. I was worried that the warden will be not able to catch the blim, but he did. And we will use three clone spells. Sweeper pushing, actually that sweeper pushed the uh, blim towards the town hall. Now loons are all over the place, town hall is going down. Loons, some of the loons cleared the bottom side, but I think so that previous hit with the clone spell definitely to get better value. Now, not many dragons left in the middle compartment. We are down to two dragon riders, one coming closer to air defense, so losing both of them, I say. Kari needs 88%, anything above 88%, 87% is win for the carry. Anything less than 87% will be win for Morio. Single Inferno log on his screen, she is... Oh my god. That single Inferno and air defense. Kari will not have enough. Hold on. 83%, are you serious? 84%. More than with the unicorn, we have two minions on that left side. One minute, 84% right now, 85 more than going for the scatter shot. Minion definitely gonna get that one storage, not sure about the second. We still need three more person. Are we gonna be able to get them? 58 seconds, more than versus <coughs> scatter with the unicorn. Come on, more than can you get it? Oh, one more hit. All right, Scattershot is gone, and now Warden can help, and I think so, we will be good. 87%, we need one more building, and Kari will get a person win here. What a close match. <laughs> I was actually told that we will be seeing Ty again, that we will see again another 87%, but Kari already smiling. He knows that he hit more than enough to get him in here. What amazing job. Wow, Kari, like big, big clap to him. He is winning Japan Championship from all these players. That's insane. Like, let's get some love in the chat, guys, for Kari. Kari opposition, definitely GG. There he is, winner of the Japan championship congratulations to him so the first place but oh uh, melon carry second place is morio sahara and klaus sharing the third place i am so happy i had the opportunity to stream this it was so so much fun definitely interesting format to sing one versus one and for this all streams we are seeing so many amazing attacks oh that's even crying oh that's so cute oh wow Curry, like what comeback especially when i saw that first attack and he fell i really thought that he will be not able to get a win but he got so big big shout out to all players which apply and were fighting in this amazing tournament big shout out to casters oda stadra and uh yuta and also big shout out to supercell thank you very much for uh, letting us to cover this uh tournament how i say i will have to go because i will be back again like i think so in one hour 30 minutes because we will be back with the me walkers war so i'm gonna see you pretty soon uh and i see like uh how youtube was voting youtube was in a favor of carry there was 71 percent when for uh carry 29 percent uh for morio but yeah wow what amazing grand final yeah carry won everything he did yeah let's get how i say let's get some love to him that's that's op also let me give you channel points uh, guys, if you miss any hit of this, uh, probably in less than 24 hours, I will be able to edit the stream. So 
if you be patient on YouTube, you can find uh, all both semi-finals and of course the grand final there. So yeah, yeah, definitely. Nice job from him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's actually pretty good. Yeah, Scary the winner. It was so epic. I kind of wanna miss this tournament. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna take the break. I will be seeing you around one hour twenty minutes, okay? Uh, one hour twenty minutes with uh, with the nether stream. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you. I hope so. We enjoyed the stream. I know there is like some time between the attacks. I know that you usually wants to came and watch the, just action, but I don't know. It's like kind of like weekends, you know, early morning weekends. We can just chill and watch some amazing attacks and have some talk. So I think so. It's nice uh, difference from five v five. So yeah, I will be back uh, later today with the. Uh, I think so. We are covering like two Kniewalkers wars and maybe something else. So. I'm gonna eat pretty fast. I don't know if someone is streaming uh, on Clash. <coughs> Hi, next. Uh, uh, Matty is streaming, so I'm gonna send you a uh, this is doing some CWL attack, so I'm gonna send you there and I'm gonna see you pretty soon, okay? So have a great day again. Thank you very much for uh, watching YouTube. Thank you very much for all uh, likes and see you soon. Bye bye.